Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! You know, you really do see it all here. Hannah's currently in the gallery eating mints out of a mug. I'm not even kidding. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to the to the madness that is Sewing Street. We love having your company. I have a big, and I'm talking huge announcement to make right here, right now. Our family just got bigger. No. This sounds like I'm announcing that Vix has had her babies. She hasn't. That, that was going wrong. Listen, I've got a great big announcement to make, and it is this. From today, Sewing Street are exclusive retailers of Elna sewing machines in the UK. We are not just the number one sewing machine company, we are the home of Elna sewing machines. And as somebody who has personally had uh, a brother, Elna 680, for the last eight, nine years and just loved it. I'm thrilled to bits, the channel are thrilled to bits. And uh, we are gonna have the full range of Elna sewing machines and overlockers available here at Sewing Street. We're going to have a dedicated support team for Elna sewing machines here at Sewing Street. So if you, when you ring customer service, you'll be able to speak to Elner specific support, um, as well as, and on top of, Elner's regular customer support. You'll also be able to access that. Um, we are just gonna be able to offer the best deals on all the machines. We really are going to be able to offer everything here. So we are thrilled about that. Um, it starts today. Um, you will see Elna's at the moment elsewhere, but um, literally just what they've got left. We are the home of Elna now moving forward, so that's exciting news. Now then, this morning we have got some fantastic bundles on Elna sewing machines um, to celebrate our wonderful new partnership. Um, check these out. Um, we're going to be doing uh, five year extended warranties just this week just this week um, we're offering five years 
extended warranty included with all our key machines. So get yourself a 680 plus, you get a five year extended warranty. We've got bundles, we've got five way split pays. Uh, we've, this is the day. This is the day to get your Elna. If you were thinking about getting yourself a new overlocker, if you were thinking about getting yourself a new sewing machine, you want to upgrade. Maybe you've been inspired by the sewing bee. It's already getting exciting. And uh, you want to encourage somebody to start dressmaking, quilting, sewing. Uh, starting with the great Elna machine is the way to go. So stick around because this morning we've two shows dedicated to sewing machines and overlockers. So we're going to have an awful lot to share with you today. Great bundles, great deals, and that extended five year warranty included. Two is standard. You're going to get five this week, not an extra penny uh, for you to pay. Now, a few good mornings to start the day. Pam says, Good morning, lovely. Good morning, my love. Francis, congratulations. It is great news. It's wonderful for everyone. Uh, Anne says, morning, lovely Stuart. Good morning, my love. Mo says, morning, handsome. I'm watching while decorating my new flat. Congratulations. Welcome to your new home, Mo. Have fun decorating. Charlie's been doing some decorating while I've been away. He's redone the bathroom. It's all very exciting. Let's do our early bird. We've got two. We've got two today. Um, and they are from Janome, who of course make Elna sewing machines. So it's a, it's a jamboree today. Uh, so we'll start off with the curved. Yeah, so these are curved embroidery scissors, fine point, four inch embroidery scissors. I'm gonna grab them out of the box. Now, normal price, $13.99. These are Janome branded, beautiful quality, soft and sharp, soft and sharp. Um, so what you've got here is a lovely soft um, handle, okay, so it's not going to feel um, hard against your fingers. And then can you see right here, we have this curved edge. Now, what's the point of that curved edge? Well, what it means is if you're doing hand embroidery and you're working in a hoop, it means that when you want to clip threads right against the surface of the fabric, you can, because you can get that curved blade right up against. You don't have to sort of try and manipulate your hands or twist your body into, you know, an unforgiving shape to try and do it. You can easily get to the surface and snip those threads. It also means that when you're working on a sewing machine and you want, again, so something like machine applique, machine quilting, where you want to clip your threads, um, again, you can get easily into the machine and you can clip completely flat to the machine. So curved ones, absolutely brilliant. We're crashing that price. Our early bird price today is, that's fantastic, 10.99. Fabulous saving. Um, lots of excitement about the Elna news. That is so exciting, says Susie in Worcestershire. I love my Elna sewing machines. Reliable, easy, and huge number of fab features. Sewing pleasure. Ah, oh, Susie, morning to you. That's a lovely message about Elna sewing machines. Look at this. This is good, Elna. Sewing Street, the home of Elna. I love that. We should probably have t-shirts made. Can I have an XL? Um, another message. <laughs> Morning all at Sewing Street. Fantastic news. Love my 680 plus and made my first double quilt using it. That's a fab message from Anne, who's in Kent. Um, it's true, um, Elna 680 plus, the 720, the 780 plus, huge throat space, perfect for quilting large quilts. Catherine in Derbyshire has got in touch. Good morning, Stuart. I love my Elna sewing machine and wanting to upgrade, so I'm hoping you have the offer for me. Catherine, tell me what's on your wish list. Five-year warranty, you've got it. Amazing bundle of extras, you've got it. But never forget that the most important thing when you're looking for a great machine is that you find a great machine. Because actually, when you've got eight, nine, 10 years down the road and you average out what you've paid per day for your machine, it's pennies to get all of the features 
all of the functionality that you need. So that's the most important thing. I'm going to be giving you a full tour of all the machines this morning. So hopefully, Catherine, I'll have the deal for you. Now, a quarter of the stock of the curved embroidery scissors has already gone. We've got good stocks of these, but they are flying out. Right then, our second early bird, perfect partner, actually. It's the Elna 4-inch Embroidery Fine Point Scissors. $12.99, that price is dropping, let's do it. Same price as the curved, $10.99 for these. Now, what we've got here, this is the same size scissor, but this time we've got a flat blade, okay, so no curve. Now, um, also incredibly useful to have, I need the, both of these, I've got both of these, and what you're gonna do with these in particular, these are wonderful for things like cutting out your applique shapes, because you've got a really, really fine point, especially the smaller applique shapes. So if you do bonder web, fused applique, needle turn applique, anything like that. If you've bought Jenny Jackson's needle turn applique kits or EPP, again, super useful for that. If you're a dressmaker, if you're a bag maker, when you're clipping into curves and need to be able to cut within a couple of threads, of the stitching line, you've got to have scissors that have a fine sharp point and are absolutely sharp to the point. This is the bit you're gonna be using more than anything. These are perfect. 10.99 for wonderful quality, Janome Professional Soft and Sharp four inch embroidery scissors. And a great saving today. A great saving. Uh, you're saving two pounds it should be 12.99 you're paying 10.99 today so the choice is one of them or both of them both super useful all right let's make a start let's do the menu and see what we've got on today's sewing street so at 8 a.m first show it's the elna show we're going to be looking in depth at some of our favorite machines now, I've also got two overlockers on this show, and overlockers are already flying out this morning. You've spotted them on our website. Uh, the sewing bee is in full throttle. Uh, overlocker sales are going through the roof. We have got two amazing Elna overlockers on the show this morning. You won't want to miss this. Great deals as well. Great deals. Um, at nine o'clock, I'm thrilled to bits to have the wonderful effervescent Alison Marion with me with a trio of totes. I was absolutely gobsmacked when Alison got these totes out. She whipped them out. I thought, okay, a little interesting. But then she did the big reveal and oh my goodness, blown away. Three different styles, a little bit of magic. That's coming up at nine o'clock with Alison Marion. We've also got her fabulous hand embroidered pendants, which sold out last time. We've got more stockings, so stick around for that too. And Alison's got some rather huge announcements to make of her own. Um, mm, I'm teasing. At 10 o'clock, I've got brand new extra wide fabrics and wadding. Now, you know how much I hate joining fabric together to back a quilt. Uh, it isn't necessary. We've got a gorgeous range of brand new, actually, extra wide fabrics and wadding to stock up on. So if you've got any questions about layering, quilting, backing fabrics, waddings, get them in. You know how to get in touch. Um, at 11 o'clock, uh, Alison Marion is back. Hello, hello. It's barbecue season. <laughs> it is barbecue season. So Alison's gonna be here with barbecue apron for the whole family, but particularly for dad, who always seems to take charge of the grill. Uh, that's gonna be a great fun show. And um, Alison's also gonna have her mummy and me apron and doll sizes as well. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. There they are, the whole family. And then at 12 o'clock, final hour, we're going to be getting all of those fabulous Elna sewing machines. So you've got a little bit of time for, you know, a little bit of a think. Because I'm not, I'm not going to shy away from the fact. You've, you need a bit of thinking time when you're getting a sewing machine. And I don't blame you. Um, 
and we're not limited on numbers of machines so so it's unlikely over the course of the morning that I'm going to be saying oh 680 plus sold out but the bundles might you know we're, we're now the exclusive retailer of Elna in, in Britain so number wise we've got great numbers but if you see a particular bundle that you think love that bundle we'll still have the machine and a new bundle but I'm just saying if you like the bundle and you like the machine you love the machine you want that get get in there quicker rather than later but as I say we've got that show at 12 o'clock so if you're mulling if you're thinking and then a question pops up at 11 o'clock and you think I really need to know this get it into us and then at 12 o'clock I'll do my best to answer your questions and if there's anything you need to know or see on any of the machines then hopefully we can do that for you at 12 o'clock so it's going to be a bit interactive this morning lots of you already going for your machines and your overlockers today's the day because if you haven't heard the news Sewing Street is the new home of Elna yep you heard it right we are now the exclusive UK retailer for Elna sewing machines. Now, obviously, sewing machines, um, uh, Elna sewing machines, will still be available in retailers. You know, they're they're sort of stock that they've already got. But when that's gone, it will be gone for good. Um, this means that we'll have, you know, that bit more flexibility about which machines we have. We'll be able to have bigger numbers of machines so we won't run out of stock um, so easily. We'll have a dedicated support team here at Sewing Street to support you with your Elna machines. We'll have trained, dedicated professionals here. You'll also have access to Elna's great customer service as well. Um, we'll also be able to offer things like, you know, a full range of extra feet that you might need, speciality feet. It's really exciting news. I'm thrilled to bits about it. Um, today, to celebrate, we're also offering five years extended warranty on all of our key machines. Um, which is absolutely mega. I mean, uh, one year is, is mandatory, it's the law. Two years, a lot of companies now will give two years. It's a way of showing, you know, great confidence in, in the product. So two years is great. An extend, a three year extension to your warranty is something you normally have to pay. I was looking at a Kindle yesterday. It was, I think it was 75 pounds extra to pay, which is, the, the Kindle's only about £120 um, to extend the warranty. Uh, you can end up paying an absolute fortune to an extended warranty. We're giving you five years extended warranty if you buy with us uh, today. Uh, Lisa Lamb's got in touch. Morning, Lisa. She says, morning, Stuart. You look delectable in your chalky digestive shirt. Nom. Is it Chuck? Have you seen Chucky Digestives? Lisa, have you had your breakfast yet? You sound hungry. <laughs> right, let's get started. And we're going to start with the machine that I've got, which is the Elna 680 Plus. Um, Elna 680 Plus, some of you have already checked out your machines. And from me personally, congratulations, because you've just got yourself a fabulous fabulous machine now I've got a bundle right here that I'm going to put with the Elna 680 plus um, this we've got quite limited stocks of this bundle not the machine but if you like this bundle I love this bundle um, over a hundred and three pounds worth of, of goodies here you're getting um, a pack of fabulous Gutterman threads I'm, good, I'm a Gutterman ambassador. I absolutely love, I've always loved Gutterman threads. Use them for all my sewing. That's gorgeous, you get that. You also get a pack of fine magic pins. We adore magic pins at Sewing Street. So many of you have bought these. They're, they're the Rolls Royce of pins with a price tag to match. Fair enough, but they're really good, you know. Pin money is an expression for a reason. You're getting those included. You're getting, look, Stripology Squared Mini included as well. How much do we love Stripology here? Hello. You're also getting fabric. This is a two meter piece of Seeded Natural. Very nice. One of my favorite, uh, sort of essentials fabrics. 
Uh, also, my goodness, this just goes on and on. Wadding. How much wadding am I getting? Is that a metre? Feels like a metre. Yeah, it's a cotton blend, 80-20, isn't it? We'll check on the amount of that. But most importantly, yeah, a metre of wadding. Most importantly, you're getting the Elna 680 Plus. Now, let me give you a quick a quick tour of the Elna 680 Plus. So, absolutely superb machine. Thousand stitches per minute. That totals over 600,000 stitches in an eight hour period. That's mind boggling, isn't it? That's why I always say change your needle every six to eight hours. That's how many stitches your Elna 680 Plus can stitch in that time. You've got 170 different stitches easily accessible touch screen it is absolute child's play to use this machine but the results are so sophisticated you've got all of your utility stitches you've got decorative stretch sewing not an issue uh, 10 different buttonholes you've got automatic one step buttonholes You've got button sewing function, you've got darning function. So yes, you can drop your feed dogs and free motion quilt, free motion embroider. You get darning foot included. You get an adaptable darning foot. So it's got different attachments, different sort of feet on the end of an ankle. Awesome. You've got a walking foot included in the price, a straight stitch plate and a straight stitch foot. I mean, here's the package you get. It's absolutely incredible. Um, as I say, I've had my machine now for about eight, nine years. I've written my last two books using it. The um, sewing stands up to HDTV. Now, when I got my machine, it was, and we're talking nearly nine years ago, it was £1,100. So the price has barely changed in eight years. How many other things have stayed the same? Uh, incredible um, and prices will be going up moving forward inevitably we've been talking about this for months everything is going up but I didn't get five years warranty I didn't I got I got one year maybe two years tops um, and and actually mine isn't the plus mine is the 680 so some of the straight stitch function I didn't get with mine it's you know this is new and improved um, so and I didn't get a bundle of freebies I didn't. However, however, I will, I'm going to put it out there. Those things, whilst they're lovely at the time, it's all very nice. But, but the best thing about getting the machine was the machine. That bottom line, I've never, ever for a moment regretted having a 680. Okay. Big news. This bundle sold out. Um, what that means is that this bundle with the machine, this is sold out now. However, we are going to get a different bundle together for the 680. We've got plenty of 680 plus machines. It'll be a different freebie bundle. You'll still get your five years extended warranty, but at the moment, hang fire on your 680 plus because this bundle has now sold it out. Okay, would this be a good point to talk about the 780? Let's do 780. So now 780, can it, mm, I'm just thinking about position wise, I'm a bit behind the, yeah, that's a thought. Let me just, uh, this, is what, this is what constitutes a workout for me these days. <laughs> I'm gonna move those over there for a sec and just move the 780 across. Now I had the pleasure of doing a 780 hour maybe about a month ago and um, this wasn't a machine that I had used before and oh my goodness, um, slight machine envy, uh, this is fabulous fabulous machine this is this is going into sort of semi-professional um territory so it is slightly semi-professional territory here um and i'm going to jump straight in with with that capability and, and tell you about that um because what you've got with this machine you've got your standard needle plate your zigzag needle plate the swing needle 
You'll use that for all your decorative stitching, buttonholes, heirloom sewing, zigzag, stretch sewing, all that sort of thing. You've also got a straight stitch needle plate which is really, really useful and worth putting on if you're doing lots of piecing. Um, straight line quilting, free motion quilting as well, you can use that for as well. So that's good. So, so far, so 680 plus, but I mentioned semi-professional sewing, so let me tell you about that. So you're also getting what Janome call the HP plate, which is right here. And this is the semi-industrial foot which you're going to use with your industrial feet and this is where it gets really interesting okay so what you're getting for that particular uh, plate is you're getting semi-industrial walking foot so this clips on to your machine okay and works with your HP plate but the bit I got really excited about was this which is your piecing foot which look has walking foot and professional sole plate capacity with a quarter inch foot so for me as a quilter as a bag maker this blows my mind so we can sew at high speeds high quality i think this one is 1100 stitches per minute which blows my mind um, with those semi-professional feet and the professional needle plate as well. So precision, beautifully perfect straight lines of sewing, just quality like you've never seen before on a home sewing machine. Um, and of course as well you've also got your darning foot for free motion quilting. You've got all of your usual dressmaking, stretch stitch feet, you've got your um, button sewing foot, automatic one-step buttonholes, plethora of those. Um, you've got a knee lift. You've got your knee lift. Now your knee lift hangs under the table off the front. You can see it there. It's that sort of funny metal bar with the white um, piece on the bottom. Your, your knee or your thigh goes against the white part. You push away with your knee and it'll lift and lower the presser foot. They're utter genius and they're game changers when it comes to especially things like quilting and applique because you can keep your hands on the business end of your sewing machine you're not constantly lifting up from the fabric to lift and lower your presser foot um, you just do it all with your knee it is absolutely brilliant and um, you also with your 780 plus you also get this two-part foot pedal so so you've got a massive foot pedal here so you can put one foot or two feet on this this if it's more comfortable and then you've also got your smaller pedal now this can be put on either the left or the right of the machine um, it's a really simple job just to change the fixing on this to the other end and then this foot can be programmed to do different functions so for example it can be used to do a knotting function it can be used to you to do the automatic thread cutting for example there's various different functions you can assign to this foot pedal and you choose program it in again game changing absolutely game changing now let's talk about the price and also what you're getting you're getting your machine you're getting a five-year extended warranty only this week only this week um, it's a celebratory we are now the exclusive partners with Elna, Sewing Street is now the home of Elna Sewing Machines. Uh, we are thrilled to bits about that. And thank you for all your lovely messages, by the way. Um, you all sound thrilled about the news too. Um, you're also getting five split pays on this machine, which is more than we normally offer. So £557.80 is the first of five split pays. Pay that today. No credit checks, no forms to fill in. It's just an option you choose when you check out. You pay £557.80 today and we will send the machine to you. It comes direct from Elna. Um, same PMP um, covers you for the whole day for all your shopping. Get the machine home, spend a month dressmaking, home deck, quilt those quilt tops that have been languishing. Have you seen the throat space that you get with this machine? It's incredible. Let me just tell you 
from right up to the needle 11 inches now on your 680 it's just under nine inches this is 11 inches of throat space this is considered a long arm sewing machine so if that's the buzzword for you and you've heard other people talking about their long arm sewing machine and how they are quilting their large quilts on their long arm sewing machine this is this is what they're talking about 11 inches of throat space it just makes the job of quilting a quilt making a coat larger sewing projects curtains blinds so much easier you do of course as well get um, an extension table with this um, which we haven't got here but it's huge and sturdy and wonderful we are a bit limited on space it's true <laughs> we have. but just a fantastic machine um, spend a whole month using this machine before your next payment uh, comes out uh, that that is the beauty of split pays you only have to pay the first one to get the machine home now let me just show you the specs for this machine because it's absolutely wild 350 built-in stitches 350 11 buttonholes two alphabets maximum sewing speed uh, okay 1060 stitches per minute what was I 40 stitches out it's not bad memory though is it I'm pretty good nine millimeter maximum sewing width most machines it's five mil sometimes seven mil this is nine mil so big monogramming and uh, you know numbers words full color high definition LCD screen automatic presser foot lift dual feed system so feeding the fabric from the top and the bottom this is going to give you even feed even when you're doing patchwork piecing with your quarter inch foot you've got dual feed system automatic foot presser pressure adjustment easy and guided bobbin threader with built-in thread cutter automatic and programmable thread cutter you can use that foot pedal for that nine high illuminance leds in four areas um, I didn't actually point that out you've got your little snazzy this is gorgeous love this you've got your little light here directable light that slots away so you've even got extra light here and you've also got a USB port so you can um, record and put in memory certain stitch combinations words you know things like if you want to do um, name labels for example for all the family you can store them on a USB a message wonderful hello and good morning all please could you tell me if there's going to be any more of the Elna 680 plus Catherine in Norfolk yes Catherine thanks for that message yes we we've got plenty of 680 plus machines but what sold out on that just a few moments ago was the bundle so that was with wadding and fabric and there'll be a difference there'll be a different bundle we'll we'll introduce that a bit later on today we'll have it certainly by the 12 o'clock show um, so we will have the 680 plus bundle back in stock for the 12 o'clock but it'll be a different bundle of freebies but we'll try and make sure that it's still fabulous and equivalent in value you'll still get the machine and bottom line it's the machine and all the functionality that we need to get right for you um, so so that's what I'm here for if you've got any questions if you need to know more depth ask me I will do my very best to tell you and in the future of course we'll have trained staff here um, in our customer services who will be who will be product specific for Elna there'll be a special support um, resource for you as well as the Elna customer service so I mean just terrific just terrific um, Elna 780 plus an absolutely beautiful machine taking your sewing to professional level uh, 11 inch throat space for sewing and quilting larger projects so yes now you can quilt your queen size quilt on your domestic sewing machine without all the huffy puffy uh, collector in West Sussex has got in touch to say I got my 680 plus in December was that a little early Christmas present uh, thank you split pay <laughs> you're welcome 
Yeah, this is the thing. Wonderful machine, so easy to get started. Love it, made so much. Well done, Sewing Street. Thank you for that. And congratulations on getting a brilliant machine and being part of the Elna family. Um, yeah, we don't, we, 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 I think we don't emphasize enough how useful split pays are and how easy split pays are. Um, it's a great option if you choose it. You, you don't have to fill in any forms. You don't have to go through any credit checks to use split pay. You literally just choose it as an option when you're checking out. And on these higher price items, I mean, just make one payment, get it home, use it. Because often it's once you use it, you think, okay, happy with this. Now, um, if you've just joined us, we've got wonderful news. Uh, Sewing Street are now, from today, the exclusive UK retailer of Elna sewing machines. So moving forward, you'll be able to come to us for any of the Elna sewing machines, any Elna in, uh, overlockers, Elna embroidery machines. We'll have a full package of additional feet. We will have regular deals and promotions on Elna. We won't stop being uh, competitive. You know, we will still, because we know that you have a choice. There are lots of great brands out there. So we will remain very, very competitive on price um, moving forward with Elness. We will still offer you the best deals we possibly can. Okay. Okay, great. So Catherine in Norfolk, we've got, we've got it sorted. Elness 680 plus. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we just lose the, is that right? Though they change. If you show me the threads that you do get. Sorry, we'll just, okay, gotcha, right. Right, okay, perfect, right. So you see those threads there. What are we getting there? 10? 10 reels of beautiful, all those different greens. So you'll get, so so this is the bundle. Elna 680 plus sewing machine, new bundle. You get those threads, you get your magic pins, your two meters of seeded natural, your mini stripology squared ruler, your one meter of 8020 quilt batting, plus those threads from Living in Loveliness, in your bundle plus your Elna 680 plus for £1,249 you get 175 stitches you get your alphabets you get nine inches of throat space you get an extension table a knee lifter all of the feet you could possibly need I think including a walking foot and a darning foot um, you're getting all of that uh, you're getting your cover, you're getting that great bundle and you're getting a five year extended warranty added in for free. There's no extra charge for that five year extension. Normally we would offer a two year warranty on the Elna machines. Today we're giving you five years, which is so much security. Yeah, it's worth well over £60, isn't it? That extended warranty. Um, just brilliant. And I speak from experience. I've had my Elna 680 for about eight and a half years, something like that now. And it's an absolute workhorse. There was one day when it wouldn't sew. And when I, and I thought, oh, needs a service. Actually, what it needed was all of the lint clearing out of the feed dogs because it was like a thick piece of felt. Um, and as soon as I took that out, it was back to sewing like brand new. So just a wonderfully robust, fast, beautifully simple sewing machine. I think most of us can just sit down behind an Elna 680 plus and start sewing. Easy threading, automatic needle threader, very, very quick and easy bobbin to wind and drop in. There you go. There are your uh, specifications for the Elna 680. It's 170 stitches, not 175, 170 stitches, 10 buttonholes, 
And you might think, why 10? Why, do I, why don't I just need one? They're different shapes, they're different functions depending on whether they're going through stretch fabric or non-stretch, vertical or horizontal. You've got things like keyhole buttonholes in there for very, very thick fabrics like coats. Uh, you've got a free arm, you can drop the feed dogs, free motion quilting, free motion applique, you get your darning foot included, you get your walking foot included, e extra wide extension table, just terrific, it's one of our absolute favourite machines here. Um, Rachel's got in touch to say, I bought my 720 Pro, we'll get to that, um, from Sewing Street about five years ago. It is brilliant for my wedding alterations business. I love it. I love that, Rachel. Fab. Um, a message from Karen. Great to see you back on air, Stuart. I've had an Elna machine for several years. It's a fantastic machine from Karen in Leeds. Thank you for that. It, oh, it's lovely to be back now. It's lovely to be back. We will get um, an image, by the way, for that bundle, but our first bundle on the 680 Plus did sell out very, very quickly. Remember, you're getting your Elna 680 Plus with all of that fabulous package, including five years extended warranty, uh, five split pays, £249.80 is the first split pay. Um, get it home. Get using it. You'll be able to jump straight on and do some sewing, see how beautifully it purrs along. Uh, you're also getting over £102 of, of um, goodies, including a set of 10 uh, threads from Living in Loveliness, magic pins, two metres of seeded natural, a mini squared stripology ruler. You're also getting a metre of quilt batting as well. Lovely little package. A message from Kat in Norfolk. Oh my goodness, I've just got one. Thank you so much. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, Catherine in Norfolk. <laughs> You're welcome, my love. I knew you were waiting. I knew you were waiting. That is absolutely wonderful. Enjoy your machine. Now, let's do the 720 Pro. Fab. Okay, let me pop this little bundle to one side because we've got the 720. Now this of course is the machine that we always see being used by Delphine Brooks and also of course by Bex Reed. So you know they say we're judged by the company we keep. Have you ever heard that expression? Well, I think that's quite relevant when we're looking at sewing machines. Um, if you love and are impressed by what Delphine manages to achieve or what Bex makes, um, they both use the Elna 720 Pro and uh, they both know exactly what they want from a sewing machine. Now, maybe you know exactly what you want from a sewing machine and maybe you're still undecided about what you need. But I think what everybody needs in a sewing machine is something that can grow with you. So as your confidence, your experience or your interest uh, changes and grows, um, it's good to know that your machine's going to work with you rather than against you. This is an amazing price, actually, for a pro machine. And they are pro machines. Um, this is full metal construction. This is not, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick my neck out here a little bit and say this is not a machine you want to be humping in and out of the boot of your car or taking along to workshops. This is probably the machine that's going to live at home with you you know, maybe in your, if you've got a shed, uh, you know, the work room in the garden, or you've got your dedicated sewing room or your sewing space, this is probably going to stay in your house because it is hefty. It is all metal construction. And um, there's a very, very expensive uh, sewing machine brand from Switzerland, isn't there, that are very proud of the fact that they're that their machines are metal construction. Um, and we know what quality that gives you. It's about the smoothness, the power and the stability when you're sewing at either slow or absolute top speeds. Let me show you what you get with your 720 Pro. Okay, so variable speed control, so important. Needle up, needle down, memory function. 
Upstanding spool stand with retractable thread guide. So this is great because it means that we can use things like cones of thread very easily as well as reels. Rotary dials for thread tension and stitch width and length setting. A thread cutter uh, switch jack. So you've got a thread cutter pedal uh, with this machine. Top drop bobbin. You've got your needle plate conversion lever, so you can change the needle plate for a straight stitch. You've got that really wide um, throat space. I'm just going to measure it because I like things in inches. 10 inches of throat space there. So again, this is long arm sewing machine uh, territory here. Uh, you've also got a uh, superior needle threader with lever, your start stop button. You can use this machine with or without a foot pedal. Uh, you've got a top dropping bobbin and you can adjust, of course, your presser foot pressure. Now then, <clears throat> again, just to emphasize, this is all metal construction. So this is smooth, this is stable, this is robust. It's going to last and last and last, which is what we want out of a machine. Uh, you've got a large flat bed for sewing on. Now this doesn't have free arm. This is a flat bed. So much like sort of industrial sewing machines. So yeah, of course you can still do things like turn up trousers, make a bag, but you don't slide your work on. You, um, I have to show you this rather than describe it. So normally where you do a bag on a free arm, you'd slot the bag on here and turn it around here. What you do instead is you have the bag here and you turn it around to sew around the bag here. It's the same thing basically just up rather than down if that makes sense. Can we just go back to that previous slide for a second? Thank you. There is so much here. Um, as I say you've got that um, uh, one step needle plate converter so you can do a straight stitch uh, you've got a straight stitch needle plate and actually I would recommend that if you're doing lots of piecing lots of quilting even free motion quilting um, for that I've got a little question that's coming from Karen on Facebook and um, Karen says morning Stuart a question for you um, would a walking foot fit onto my Elna Club machine? I've had it for 34 years now. Karen, I don't know the answer to that because it's all, it's all about the depth of the shank on your machine. So what you need to do first and foremost, if you do a quick search on the internet and find out if the shank on a um, club is a low shank or a high shank, and once you know that, then you just need to find out if there's um, if the walking foot fits a low or a high, and that's the only question you need answered, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the bundle that comes with the Elna Seven Twenty is it the original threads? There we go, we've got an image. Can I just have the image on the on the one next to me? I can't see that far away. <laughs> I just can't see it. Okay, right. So you're getting the Gutterman threads all in those neutrals. You're getting your cotton soft, um, super soft cotton blend wadding. You're getting your seeded natural fabric, your magic pins, and also the Stripology squared ruler. So the original bundle that we had on the 680, you can still get on the 720 plus. Um, yeah, okay. It's worth over £100, you're getting that included. You're also, very importantly, getting the five-year extended warranty. That ends on the 7th of June. You've got a week. If you buy your Elna machine, 
in the next seven days you'll get that extended warranty but after that it will go back to a two-year warranty and I think an extended warranty is well worth having <clears throat> Okay, let's have a quick talk about overlockers. Um, with two overlockers, two overlockers um, that we have here on the show this morning. So we're going to start off with this one right here. So this is the Elna 664 Pro Overlocker. A nice message to start. Hi, Stuart. Good to see you back. Thank you very much. Uh, is it Carmelina? Uh, thank you, Carmelina. The Elna machines are so robust, smooth, and lovely to use. I have the Elna 664 Pro Overlocker. Great machines. That's brilliant. Thanks for that. Um, now then, uh, I talked earlier on about prices of overlockers and sewing machines going up. up. But would you like to see a price crash? Let's do, <laughs> goodness, that's awesome. I didn't know it was going to that. I might get myself an overlocker. <laughs> 400. <laughs> that, and we still get five years extended warranty. No extra cost. Oh, come on. And during the sewing bee, Overlockers are like gold dust during sewing bee, £429. That is it. That is fantastic. £429 for an Elner 664 Pro Overlocker. Now, this is easy to use, uh, so, so professional in its running and the finish it's going to give to your garments. You can construct with your overlocker. You can finish seams on your overlocker. I believe if I'm if I'm right, you can do two, three, and four thread overlocking using your 664. Lots of functionality. Yeah, look, here are the stitches you can do. So you can see there lots of different options for two, three, and four thread overlocking. So it doesn't matter whether you're making things like lingerie or bridal, if you're doing robust home decor projects, curtains, blinds, cushions, um, any of your dressmaking, of course, you can use your overlocker to make your seams beautiful. You've got your cutting blade on the machine. I'm just thinking if I just, this is cool. You've got your little, you've got your little bin on the front. Now this isn't for, for sweeties, unfortunately, but what it is for is to catch the thread and the fabric as the blade is trimming and cutting. So you've got your blade here. I'm just gonna take this back so you can see. So you've got your blade inside. So this is going to cut the thread simultaneously as you're sewing so that you get the neatest, most perfect overlocked edge you've ever seen. Just brilliant stuff. Um, overlockers are not hard to thread up. They're slightly different to a sewing machine. Little bit of practice and you'll be there. And then once you've got it threaded up the first time, what most people do rather than constantly re-threading is just to snip the threads, tie them to the next four color threads and then pull them through. It's the quickest, easiest way to do it. Now, today, absolutely bonkers price, £429 with a five-year extended warranty. Now, we're going to do a little price comparison. And just to explain, obviously, from today, we are the exclusive home of Elna sewing machines and overlockers. However, there are other retailers at the moment that have still got a bit of stock left. They'll be selling that when it's gone they will not have any more. So at the moment we can do price comparisons, which is rather good because I can show you this. Now here's your Elna 664 Pro Overlocker. Uh, you don't get a five year extended warranty and you're paying 100 pounds more for buying it from this retailer. You get 30 day return, well, same as us, two year warranty. We're offering you five years warranty this week. Free next day delivery. We can't promise that. Three to five working days, but 
given the choice, I'll take £429 and an extended five-year warranty. Thanks. Thanks for that. Fabulous. We're on five-way split pay on this. So actually, three-way, three-way, three-way. Just doing the maths then. £143. £143. That's, that's what you pay today. You get your overlocker home. Join in with the sewing bee. <laughs> make some clothes. Make some home decor, soft furnishing. You can actually use um, overlockers in quilting as well. There are lots of tutorials online for how to use an overlocker for quilting. Yeah. Now let's just jump very quickly to the air threader overlocker. I'm just going to nip to the other desk. So walk with me. Walk with me. Right. So this is the air threader. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this machine off the desk because otherwise you won't see me. Okay, right. Here we go. Right. So this is the 864 air threader. Okay, so it's an air threading system. A puff of air is all it takes to thread your overlocker up. You can do two, three, and four thread overlocking. Uh, Built-in needle threader, adjustable differential feed, five level presser foot pressure dial, eight piece feed dog system for perfect feeding of your fabric, built-in two thread converter, built-in thread cutter and a maximum sewing speed that's adjustable up to 1300 stitches per minute. absolutely amazing we're also crashing the price 1059 pound full price should be 1199 so we're saving 140 pounds is that right amazing should absolutely brilliant i mean look prices are going up and that is we've kept them low for as long as we possibly could prices are going up import is getting so much more expensive manufacture is so much more expensive we, we you know this story but the good news is that right now not only have we maintained the prices that we've had for the last 12 months or more we're actually doing a price crash today on overlockers a thousand and fifty nine pounds we talk a lot about the air threader because we know we know that for a lot of people, um, an air threading overlocker is what what they want. It's right at the top of the wish list, and we get that. Um, it's quick and easy threading, and you really don't have to study the manual or or uh, you know practice. And you know, as air threading overlockers go, uh, for just a shade over a thousand pound, that is an amazing price. Georgina's got in touch to say, I'd love the air, this air threader. I'm just doing the sums. Oh, blow it. I need it. Sometimes you just do it. And sometimes it's the day to act. Today, you're getting five years extended warranty and a price drop and a five-way split pay. And most importantly, a fabulous Elna air threading overlocker. I hope that's the full package for you, uh, Georgina. It's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Right, can we go back to that slide? Sorry. Thank you. It's just wonderful. What a great day to buy an Elna. I'm just tidying threads up at the back here. I've got a big old knot. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You've got that thread guide with telescopic antenna. So you can use large or small spools of thread. You've got colour-coded thread marking, um, which just makes the job easier. And that air threading system of course what could be more perfect um, you've got integrated differential feed and stitch length dials for easy setting you know this is all about boosting your confidence and making you feel super confident to really expand your repertoire lower looper pretension setting slider upper and lower looper selection one push looper thread lever 
cutting width adjustable dial. So you can cut, you can adjust the width that your blade cuts at, which is super useful. Built-in two thread converter, built-in needle threader, and a five level pressure foot presser, sorry, presser foot pressure dial. Um, all in all, a dream of an overlocker at a dreamy price. Good morning, Stuart. I've treated myself to the 864 air threading overlocker. Best thing ever. Game changer, Amanda in Swansea. I like that. I like that turn of phrase, game changer. And, and, and actually really life enhancing, I think, when you've got a machine, whether it's a sewing machine or an overlocker, that causes you no muss, no fuss no stress because actually if you're feeling stressed about i'm not really confident with my machine you don't look forward to sewing whereas with your elna machines they're so easy to use they're so approachable and there's such great support both from elna and from our specialists here at sewing street now that you know you're just going to feel super confident and when you feel confident that's when you can be truly creative okay now we're just going to show you all of the different deals that we've got available is that Alison Marion <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> all right so this is the new deal on the 680 so you're getting extended five-year warranty free good is worth over 103 pound you're getting that fabulous set of 10 threads from living in loveliness your uh, magic pins you're getting your stripology ruler you're getting two meters of seeded natural cotton and a meter of 80 20 uh, super soft quilt batting um, plus that amazing 680 plus machine The 720 Pro sewing machine, you're getting a selection of Gutterman threads, beautiful neutral colours there, magic pins, you're getting your fabric, stripology ruler, wadding, five-way split pay there available, £1,799 on the 720 Pro. Very nice, very nice. Remember that extended warranty is just this week only. On the 8th of June, you, it will revert back to two year warranty. So get it now while you can get uh, an extended five year warranty. No extra cost to that at all. Use the split pays. This is the machine, remember, that Delphine Brooks and our very own Bex Reed use and love. And look at what they make. And you know, as clothes maketh the man, sewing machine does maketh the project, I find. It was one thing that I found when I did the sewing bee. The machines were very basic and um, they did not make my sewing look better than I was, far from it. Um, a really good sewing machine will make your sewing better. It really will, it really will. Now remember, we've also got the 780 plus with a fabulous bundle that actually includes all of the other stuff plus a massive rotating cutting mat as well this one right here so you're getting your threads your magic pins your stripology ruler wadding and fabric but you're also getting an 18 inch rotating cutting mat as well isn't one of these about 60 pounds they're quite a lot aren't they I mean, they're lovely, but gosh, that's great. Over £136 worth of freebies. Lovely. That's the 780. And remember, that's semi-professional, semi-industrial sewing with that machine. Um, now, of course, we haven't mentioned the 5 Series. We've got the 5, 50, 60 and 70s. Um, they all come with their own bundles too. They're all on our website. They also have the extended 5-year warranty on them as well. So have a little look at those. Uh, is it break time? It's break time. Yeah, there we go. Look, there's, there's freebies. There's lots of lovely freebies. Gosh, what a day to buy an Elna. We are the home of Elna sewing machines now in the UK. Moving forward from today, we are the only place you'll be able to buy Elna from. We're going to offer you so much. Uh, really looking forward to sharing this amazing brand with you. Okay, we are going to go to a little break. When we come back, I'm joined by the effervescent and bubbly, same word, same thing, 
Alice and Marion, uh, we've got such a gorgeous show lined up. Don't go anywhere. We've got pendants back in stock and we've also got brand new bags from Alice and Marion. So we will see you after this. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Hello everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard and we are Sewing Street, the new home of Elna Sewing Machines. We are absolutely thrilled to announce that we are now the exclusive home of Elna Sewing Machines in the UK. Uh, we've got our fabulous Alice and Marion here today. Hey! Hey, I feel I should be doing dance after I've been called effervescent. You are effervescent and wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe you just said to me no one's ever described you as effervescent. Do you believe that? I don't. You are wonderfully bubbly. Uh, it's great to have you back, Alison. We've nice got to lots here. to talk about you yeah. and I. Oh, yes. um, but, <laughs> but Alison's going to be using the Elna 570 and I just very quickly want to mention that machine we've got it on offer today you get a fabulous bundle of freebies with it uh, worth £85 you also get an extended five-year warranty as well uh, amazing that's just for this week only you get a pack of Gutterman Sewell thread a three black and four white you get a rotary cutter all for free magic pins we love these you get a creative grids square up ruler you get two meters of ivory solid fabric you also get a meter of quilt batting as well over 85 pounds worth of goodies plus a five-year extended warranty included with the 570 and the 570 machine itself absolutely fabulous machine um, price wise is there it is, £649. Three split pays available, £216.33. Just wanted to mention that that's the machine Alison's going to be using. We'll see it in action. Now, we are going to start with a little bit of hand sewing. And these projects, which I was just saying to, to Alison, I had no idea that Alison did projects like this. But aren't these fabulous? Absolutely fabulous fabulous hand embroidered floral pendants now these sold out when we had them before so this is why we've come to them straight away right at the start we're going to start with this one right here which is the black this is very very pretty that is lovely oh sorry i've got it next to the wrong what happened <laughs> don't know what i'm doing there we go so you get everything included is that right alison yeah everything even so the glue you get the glue, the mm. pendant, the fabric, needles. the threads, the needle. Needles. You think of everything. Um, these have sold out. Sixteen ninety nine. That's a cracking price. Do you need to buy an extra check? You get no, the check. No, you get all that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to open up the kit and show you what you get. Let me just move these to one side. Let me dive in. So full instructions. Yes. Amazing amazing so look at that that is comprehensive so there's your glue um, it's previously sold out it's just back in stock so we get our glue we get all of our pre-sorted embroidery threads the needle the fabric your designs already marked I like that on the, on the fabric I like that so you don't even have to start marking it no. That is super. You get all of your pendant pieces inside there. So that's all your pendant, your chain, all in a lovely little organza bag. And then you get full instructions for how to make up the pendant. And that is something really different, isn't it? You always offer such different projects. <laughs> I'm a bit random, aren't I, with my uh, projects? Oh, you say random, <laughs> I, I say eclectic <laughs> and wonderful. But it's just so lovely when you can apply your craft to something different. And I'd never even thought of jewellery. Mm. What's What a special thing to make. It's a back in stock. Oh... Oh, we've got multi-buyers already. <laughs> well done if you've managed to grab yours. Quarter of the stock's already gone on that one, on the black. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? Um, lengthwise, Alison, what's the length on the chain? Oh, I haven't actually measured it, okay. but I mean, you it's, it's down about here. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
down to your belly button. Yeah. Depending on your but height. But obviously you can shorten it. Yes. Yes. I was just... I might whip one out and just try it on just to see. Yeah. Um, Catherine's got in touch to say, Morning, I got the black one and it's so easy and quick to make. I love it from Catherine. It is smashing, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And um, once you've all checked out your baskets, half the stock's gone now. So obviously this doesn't go with my new shirt. <laughs> but just to give you an idea of this of the position. So you've got a good length of chain there, but you can shorten you can it. Shorten it's it. all included. So if you're a bit more of a yeah. here, then you can absolutely wear mm. it like that. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, that's the right one. Now we've got two brand new designs. I will show you them both together. These are both brand new. Could we start with the blue one, please? I love that because that's, it's a little bit like a sort of a Delft blue, mm. isn't it? Really fresh and, well, fresh as a daisy, in fact. This is the floral pendant in blue. Not had this one before. This is a brand new That's for a new us. one. These two are new ones. The gorgeous. Black was in before. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me get the kit open and show you what you get inside. I'm assuming it's everything. Yes. <laughs> and the the surround on the um it's pendant. It's slightly different on them. Are they, the but the one that you see on the finished example, that's the that's one you'll the one get. That's the one you get, yes perfect thank you um because that's really smart isn't it so there again you've got your full kit so full instructions you've got your pre-marked fabric third of the stock's gone already you get your needle the design's already marked you don't have to start marking it all of your pre-sorted embroidery floss imagine how much you'd pay if you had to try and source all of the components, all of the skeins of thread, you get your glue, you get all of your metalware, the whole thing, 16.99. I've got to move on because these things are all approaching limited stock. Right, the third option, again, this is brand new today. Oh, that's really pretty. That's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Love the surround, kind of an ecru or an ivory background to that one. And again, a full kit, all of your threads, needle, pre-marked fabric, all of your jewellery findings as well. Alison, do I need any special equipment to mount? No, it's all in there. Will you show us how to do I that? I will, yes. Will you show me now? <laughs> yes, I will. Perfect. <laughs> Can I come and join you? You can. Excellent. <laughs> Rachel says, morning, Alison. Morning, Rachel. <laughs> Hello. Lovely dress, by the way. Oh, thank now, you. I've just taken my cardi off. Any further, <laughs> yes. oh. we need to just talk, because we've had a big announcement today about oh, our know. family getting bigger. Yes. But you've also... Yes, yesterday um, we were allowed to announce, because we knew a little bit earlier, but Becky didn't want to say anything until after the scan. But I'm going to be a granny. Oh, and this is your first grandchild. Yes. It's yeah. just wonderful oh, news. I'm just so pleased. Oh. And you're absolutely buzzing yeah, about it, aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> I've <do> guessed. <laughs> so when, when's, when's baby due? Uh, 10th December. So what a lovely Christmas we'll be having. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we won't expect to see you on Christmas no, Day then. No, I've done the last two Christmas days, but not this year. <laughs> I think you deserve and, and definitely need this Christmas yeah. off. Uh, it's wonderful news. Congratulations oh, to you and Mike thrilled. and your daughter Bless and family. <laughs> yes. It's really lovely. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, um, right. how well, do we mount? You're going to show us how to I'm, mount uh, the yeah. embroidery. I mean, this is a perfect um, project to take with you when you're travelling. Um, and I know because I did this one on the train between Derby and Newcastle. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so... Um, all of the instructions on the embroidery stitches are in the pattern, in the instructions. So on um, this one, if you can see, I don't know. Yeah, we can. Yeah. One? Mm -hmm. This one, I've actually turned that into a bumblebee instead I like of pink. That. You've got plenty. This is all left over. Mm -hmm. Oh, so amazing! You've got your printed pattern. So then you do a little small running stitch. You'll be amazed at how quickly this happens. In here, you've got your chain and the backing and your former mm -hmm. and I've got this bit of paper here because we're going to need some glue okay so I don't want to get that on the surface here you get so the glue this, included don't you yes you do mm. so this running stitch here is just for pulling up 
to go round the former. So if you leave a little bit at the end, mm -hmm. and then your former goes inside, and you're just going to pull that up around. Oh, it helps actually if I cut this off first, wouldn't it? Oh, to take off Get the off extra the fabric. Yeah. Joanne from Lincolnshire says, congratulations, my new grandbaby is due on the 3rd of December. Oh. I'm so excited too, yeah. loving the show. <laughs> oh, congrats, Joanne. It's lovely, isn't it? It is. I'm so excited for them. And all those opportunities to crochet Sewing knit and sew. And, yes. <laughs> I've already done the mittens and the booties. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. My friends Joanne and Phil had um they've had a couple of new grandchildren recently. Yeah. And Joanne's an avid knitter. And the pile <laughs> of knitting she did yeah. was incredible. Yeah. So I'm just going to knot that off now. It's just like covering a button, really, isn't it? It is. This, this and then we're going to actually pull that in, knot it off. And then I've still got the, the needle on mm -hmm. because we're going to then, let's just even out any gathers that I've got. There's one there, look. Mm -hmm. So I'll just even that out, make sure it's central. Move that over a little bit. And then you're just going to take what thread you've got left on your needle and go from one side to the other. This is just holding everything in place. It's not actually critical to do this because mm -hmm. obviously it's not going to go anywhere if you've knotted your thread. Mm -hmm. I'll do it very quickly. It's a bit belt and braces, but it's a bit it like is. when you're mounting any embroidery, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? it just you don't want it. it to disappear, do you? No. Um, so we'll do that. Anila from Norfolk says, good morning. Can I please ask, when was the black pendant embroidery first aired? So I can watch the show. I can't believe I missed it the first time it aired. 25th of April. Oh, you are good. But I, I remember that because I was on with Vicky and of course I knew about Becky. I knew about the baby. <laughs> but... I couldn't say anything, so no. I was there doing a couple of baby projects with Vic's very big, and I couldn't say anything. Absolutely biting your bottom <laughs> lip. Yes. Oh. Right, so there we go. Now and the then... black one is just back in stock in Ela, so you missed it first time, but you don't need to miss it today. Well over half has gone, so I would grab it now while you can, and then and then sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the uh, demo. This is why I've got the paper. Because so you've done I've got that little take... bit of sewing back and forth on the back, so that's yep. all nice and tight and smooth now. Yep. And yep. then you've got your former. And then I'm going to just put some glue on the former. Mm -hmm. I love that you get everything included. It's a cracking for sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, you get and absolutely it's absolutely like, everything. I mean, for a gift, it's beautiful, isn't oh, it? Oh, it really is. And there we go. And then Either made or not made. There. Yeah, if you've got a friend that sews, it's just something different, isn't it? Oh, I love that. So you literally you just glue just it to glue the back. Just glue it in, and there's your. And what? Just leave it for a, overnight. Yeah, you could put a peg on it if you want. But it's very quick drying glue. Mm -hmm. And that's it, done. I mean, this one especially has got such simple stitches on it. Mm -hmm. All you've got really is satin stitch and um, French knots. Mm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So you haven't got any daisy. Oh, there's a few daisy, lazy daisies in this flower here, mm -hmm. but I've added some pink into the centers. So you can customize it a little yeah. bit as well. Yeah. Love that one. If I could just grab my Let's original, that's got a little butterfly, is it, on there? Yeah. Mm. You yeah, can change so it to a... I, yeah, because yeah. you've got plenty of um, threads yeah. left out of the kit. Yeah, mix and match. Yeah. So a lovely mm. little travel project. Oh, this is a lovely message from Nora. Nora, you've just made my mum very proud as well as me. Stuart, you always have lovely manners and it shows every time you're on. Thank you. So happy for you, Alison. It's the oh, best news for your family. It is, yes. It is though, isn't yeah. it? They're, they're such a blessing. Yes. Yeah. And it just brings absolute joy to everybody. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's lifted everything. But again, I say, well, fabulous excuse just to make loads and loads of new projects. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> we'll all benefit from that. You'll be bringing yeah. more projects. Uh, and Hila says, thank you so much. And huge congratulations, Alison. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning into another baby shower. Yeah. Um, now, let's just have a quick look at the um, embroidery designs again with you before we begin. So you want to start with their crew? Let's start with their crew, the one you just demoed. That's the one I just did, and I did the... 
I B. must be honest, uh, we did talk about showing how to mount it, didn't we, before we, we started today. And I was expecting a more complicated... I know, it's so simple, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah. But if you were put off thinking, I don't know how I do that, maybe you need special tools. No, um, that's all very reassuring. So what stitches do you use for this one then? This one, you've got um, just a satin stitch, the French knots and like, little lazy daisies and a running stitch. Perfect. And if you don't know how to do those... There's instructions. There's instructions. Yeah. Awesome. And also, obviously, I, I did actually do one of them. because I did the black one on the show mm. because that's got the roses on. Yes, yes. And that was slightly the 25th. different technique. 25th of April. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So that was the ecru. Should we do black next? Mm. So this one's got the... Now Lazy what? Daisy. French knots. Now this one here, that I actually did that on the show. That mm -hmm. you basically do the spokes of a wheel, um, an odd number, and then you just run it up and down around the outside until you get to the outside edge. And oh, that, so it's that's like a woven. It. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really, really simple. It's a lovely effect, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. And I love, I mean, I love colour on black. I do as well. It do makes you? it so vibrant, doesn't mm, it? It does. Yeah. It's really, and you could wear it with anything. Yeah. It's a very, very strong, it's a statement piece, isn't it? What a lovely thing to make. Just beautiful. Again, remember, you get absolutely everything in the kit. You don't even need to add a needle. Yeah. Uh, Jill's <laughs> got in touch to say, congratulations, Alison. You'll Thank make you. a wonderful grandma oh, from so. Jill. <laughs> now, of course, most important question, what are you going to be called? Oh, I don't know yet. I know Mike's going to be pop. Come on, you must have been thinking about up... this for the last 25 years. Well, <laughs> <laughs> probably Nana or something like that. But Nana. I mean, Becky said about Mima. that's a... Um, American. Oh, Mima. Yeah, grands That's are called Mima. So, yeah, I don't know yet. It depends, really, doesn't it? It's up yeah. to them. It's up oh, to them. Oh, it was very much up to my nan <laughs> when I was a child. Oh, really? She didn't want to be called... We had Granny, yeah. which was her mother, who was really yeah. my great-grandmother. We called her Granny, and Granny seemed far too old oh, for I her. Oh, I don't mind Granny. No, so she wanted to be called yeah, Nan or I Nanny. Because my mum was Grandma for Becky, but Aidy's mum is Grandma to her other um, grandchildren. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe somebody wants to know, they've got Nanny, uh, Granny Greengate and Granny White because oh. of the colour of their gates. Oh, really? So they were green and white. Oh, gosh, no. Becky had a Nanny Sarah and a Nanny Hazel. Oh. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, time to think about yeah. it. You've got till December. Yeah. Uh, and last up then is the blue pendant. Very, it's the most popular one today. It is lovely, isn't it? It's that Delft blue. It's almost the colour of the blue on a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, cam a cameo? Cameo, yeah. Isn't it? It's and that sort Wedgwood. of cameo blue. Wedgwood. A Wedgwood, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Very popular. But this one, you've only got a satin stitch, French knots again, and Lazy Daisy. Yep beginner level yeah easy yeah very easy kind of thing you could make on a train journey to Newcastle to Newcastle from Derby oh you do not from Stoke on Trent go and pick up a car <laughs> oh very nice and very nice new one yeah oh lovely <laughs> fab now um so that was important. quick wasn't it very quick thank you for that um now you blew my mind this morning with your bags alison marion um and alison's about to blow your mind with her bags as well i'm going to nip over this side and show yeah, the bundles we've they got put me on the show with the king of bags oh hardly when you see these i just move my tea out of the way uh, now these we've got four bundles okay four different bundles and they're all made from ripstop so these are going to be light as a feather packable slip in your pocket easy to wash and dry um, i'm going to show you the bags first I... alison are you all right if i open the bags yes, over here yes. i mean it's your magic trick no, really no, no. It's fine, and I'll show you how to put them back in. <laughs> oh, well, that bit I can't do. No, yeah, you have to have the tutorial for that. All right, these are absolutely awesome. So you've got three different bags. Now, in your pattern, you get the pattern for the trio of totes. Okay, I'm showing that really quickly because I don't want to spoil the reveal. Right, so the three different packable bags. So here's number one. So you've got this little pouch. Okay, so in we go. Now these are packable shopping totes with 
appliques. This one says pollution, be the solution. <laughs> Optional applique if you want to. This is, there's your little pocket on the back. This is a, a restyle of a classic, you know, throw away, sit in the ground carry for a hundred years carrier bag. But yeah. this one you can use for a lifetime. Abs isn't that cool? Love that. These would be good for things like swimming kit and sports yeah, kit as well. I do. Or when you go, you know, away for the weekend or on holiday for your, um, you know, clothes as you mm. need to wash them. Mm. Pop them in the there. Wash bag, yeah. Yep. So that's number one. This is the second. So a uh, similar style of pouch, but then open it up. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> look, very cool. So your bag is on a little tab that tucks inside and then look at the size of that. that so again, shopping bag, oh, and yeah. a really big base. Yeah, that one I particularly did because I buy the 40 packs of dog food and cat food, you know, the pouches. Got you, yes. And toilet rolls and things like that. With a normal tote bag, they just fill them up. You need a whole bag for a, the pack of four toilet rolls. So that, that takes bigger items, really big, things stuff. of cereal. Really yeah. clever stuff, this. And you know those times when you think, I'm only popping in for eggs and milk, yeah, and then you, you come don't. out with a full yeah. shop. Yeah, that's yeah. when you need the bags. And then this last one, this is, right, watch <laughs> this. So, this is my Paul Daniels moment. So this what? Now, th 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 this is your bag. This is the bag opened. And we were like, what, 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 what? But actually, this Shall I get out yes please <laughs> this one opens right up i'm just gonna push this down this is the cleverest bag design which i it I'm, just looks like you won't get anything in it it looks like you won't get anything yeah. <laughs> in it at all but just have a look and see what alison's got in her bag 17 cans of drink in there <laughs> when you say 17 cans <laughs> of drink uh, can you just qualify? Yeah, it's cola. A soft drink. <laughs> Not that I'm judging. And seven up. <laughs> Brilliant. But yes. Is Isn't it cool? But then when you want to put it away, right, look at this. You just kind of grab the ends and and pull it. And it look. And it look. You literally just pull the ends and then it just folds up this one i do know how to put away yes. um because it's the simplest <laughs> <laughs> so alison do i need to pick which bag i want by the pattern for it no they're all in the in the one pattern you've got all three in there a um, trio yeah of totes. and it's not compulsory the applique but i have added a reversed alphabet because if you want to do um an alphabet because we are going to press it you don't have to worry about um, using an iron as long as you have it on the wool silk setting yep we can use bonder web perfect so just a one spot iron yeah and then you can just yeah. do iron it perfect yeah. so, so there's re reversed items on there that you can put on um, so it's just a standard um, bonder web uh, addition yeah so you'll trace around whatever it is you want to write and then put that on your press it onto your bonder web cut it out to where you want your letters mm -hmm. take the paper backing off just lay it down mm -hmm. and then i've done it with a black thread but oh no on some of them i've done a um an alternative thread mm -hmm. it looks really nice with um variegated thread. oh yeah fantastic yeah. and then just so, stitch them on i love that yeah, reduce, it does need reuse, stitching recycle. because bonder yeah. web isn't permanent no and you can if you do something wrong you can take it off because the the bonder web doesn't actually stick to this if you rewarm it you can take it off because i when uh -huh. i did the carrier bag yes. i stood back after i'd put it on I thought that doesn't look right and I'd only put one L in pollution oh so I did change that 
So you can, I do know that you can pull it off it's and then reapply it. Place, but then stitch yeah, it. Yeah, if you Perfect. leave it to go cold and then, put, yeah. Now, let me just show you the bundles that we've got with four different options. This is the first. Um, these are absolutely flying out, by the way. Uh, this is about to sell out. You get your trio of totes instructions and then enough fabric to make three bags. You get the light blue ripstop, the bright pink ripstop, the yellow ripstop, that's a half a meter of each, and then a fat quarter of black for your appliques. Now that has sold out, but it sets the tone. Okay, second option, details on screen, $14.99 again. You get your trio of totes pattern. Alison, it should be $14.99 for that pattern because they are three innovative, brilliant bags. Mm -hmm. But you're getting a whole kit here. You get yellow half meter, green half meter and blue, and then you get your black for applique. You get a fat quarter of that, $14.99. That's option number two. Option number three, yep. Yeah. So that has got your pattern, and then you've got the blue, royal blue, you've got imperial purple. Like bum, bum, ba -bum, bum, ba -bum. You've got your orange, never seen the film, and then you've <laughs> got the black. That orange would look lovely on the purple and appliqued actually. It? it would, and also I want to do a pumpkin bag. Yes. So yeah, yeah. using some of your other appliques from yeah, your apron. Like apron yeah, I'm going to do a Halloween version. Yeah. This will take you all year round. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Well, this one you could do kind of pumpkin-y, you could adapt, but also the um, this this bag, when it opens up, it's almost a pumpkin it shape, a, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, when it's got stuff in, it is yeah. a pumpkin shape. Yeah. yeah, when it's got... Do the handles in cans? green. How many cans of drink? 17. 17 cans of drink. <laughs> Sounds like a good night out to me. And Oh, that's about to sell out as well. And then our final option. You always bring out the cheeky side of me, Alison. This has got half a metre of navy blue, half a metre of white, half a metre of silver grey, and fat quarter of black. So that's the most neutral. Now, would you like the pattern on its own? Well, you very well might. I will show you the pattern on its own. $9.99 for Alison Marion's trio of totes. You get all the instructions for the three different styles of bag. You also get all of your applique designs. So all of the words and things like the happy face. Yep. Yeah, and also the recycling Recycle logo. logo. Yeah. Which one was that on? I don't think that was on one of these bags, was uh, it? It's on the blue one. Oh, on the blue, on this yeah. one. On the rolled one. Um, Beverly has asked a good question. She says, can you only use ripstop for these bags, no. Alison? No, the one that I've got down there is polycotton. Um, <sighs> Now, My, you don't recommend quilting cotton for this project, well, why? Well, only because it will make it more bulky to store, and I want to put three or four of those in my handbag. Understood. So, you know, because it, it just folds up so much better. Yes, and, um, a, and as well, of course, ripstop is splash-proof, water-resistant. Yeah. and it's very strong. Really yeah, strong. You can strong. wash it and it will dry yeah. quickly. Yeah. So it's a good option, but you can use other fabrics if you want to. Experiment a little bit. Yeah, and the, the pattern is actually written with instructions for cutting pieces away from the actual width of the fabric. So there's very little um, left over mm -hmm. because the bag, the finished size of the bag is determined by the width of the fabric you start off with. So obviously this is very wide. I think it's 50 something mm -hmm. wide, mm -hmm. but the poly cottons are only 44 wide. So that will make a smaller bag, but the instructions are written really for, a, um, you know, to be able to take things away from your piece of fabric. Got you. So if you yeah. had a narrower fabric, you could still make the bags, they yeah, would just come out smaller. Yeah, it would just smaller. be a bit smaller. Love that yeah. though, it's really adaptable. This is one of those patterns that you might have a handful in your in your repertoire that you keep pulling out and making again and again, yeah. year round. I mean, you also you could do some really nice Christmassy versions of these when you're delivering mm. the presents, take them in these bags and then you've got a nice little Christmassy shopping bag mm. or a general shopping bag to use. Very adaptable. This is a great pattern, Alison. I'm tempted to make some up saying, I made this bag. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And I like the one on here, not a plastic bag. I don't yeah. know if you can see on the pattern. That's really cool too. <laughs> really cool. Don't throw me away. Bag for life. Yeah. 
If you missed out on the ripstop bundles, um, we do have ripstop available by the half meter. Lots of lovely colors on the website. www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch live and then scroll down. You'll see the bundles. Everything's sold out, Alison. Look, this is the Alison Marion oh, effect. Gosh. Sold out, <laughs> sold out, sold out. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> However, if you go to coming up on today's shows, you'll then see rip stops by, ah, the, half by the half meter. Meter. So if you're thinking, I want to make 10 orange bags, then you can just get yourself 10 units of orange rip stop. And if you want black to go with, maybe get a meter or something like that and mix and match, a bit of green. Yeah. And it's really affordable as well, isn't it? Really affordable yeah. fabric, yeah. yeah. Um, how much fabric do you need or how many half bags can meter. you make from each so, bag is a half a meter perfect perfect well that's easy maths yeah hurrah <laughs> <laughs> great um alison what can you show me <laughs> <laughs> well so that hopefully I, have we got a clock in here um hopefully i'll be able to um get through to show you the actual assembly i've done a lot of the stuff on each of the bags to hopefully be able to do that so I've I've put the handles on here and it's all explained and it's all very simple um, and I've made up the bag on that one but I wanted to show you how this one's assembled mm -hmm. because this one is like an origami bag really mm. because I've already done this um, here the the main seam so it's only that one seam in this one oh, okay is that just and like it's a, a French seam, seam. Oh, it's a French, it's a French seam, seam like yeah that. so you haven't got any raw edges doesn't really matter with ripstop because it doesn't fray um, and it's very stable but it gives it that extra strength having the um, extra, extra seam in it. Seam, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it we've got lovely. that there and I've also put on the applique before I did everything else. When it was a flat piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, that just makes it easier. Yeah. But um, I'm going to show you now how you assemble this one so you're going to take your seam and you first of all you find the other end I have pressed these so I know where my points are so you're going to uh, put that in half and you can use pins Ah, oh, cool so kind of sides to middle yeah a couple of quick messages I'm gonna um, say okay. as well uh, Jennifer says congratulations Alison to you Thank and you. your family <laughs> Viv says congratulations Alison my grandkids call their granddad Fav as oh. I used to call mine Steph says morning Stuart and Alison you can never have too many shopping bags it is so true loving the shirt Stuart the color really suits you thank you uh, Sue says this is possibly the weirdest question you've ever had I should really read ahead, shouldn't I, but I haven't. <laughs> I'm in there now. Those bags are genius. And I have a picnic blanket I bought from the sample sale when sewing quarter closed. It had a zip around and folded into itself with the zip to make a bag shape. Don't suppose anyone knows who designed it or where it came from. It strikes me as a genius make like Alison's bags. Mm. Well, well, I, have did, a I did a quillo, but a, a quillo mm. that turned into a bag, mm. but it wasn't, it didn't have a zip. No. Hmm. Um, right, I've, I've just stitched about a centimetre in the centre here. That just to so hold it there. together? That's just holding those two points together. And then I need these pieces here. I've just got the extra pins in here just to mark my place. So that's the opposite ends. And then they're going to come in to that centre. Okay. So there's my centre that I had. I'm going to open that out. And we'll put Match that, that one up. there. Alison, I'm imagining you and Mike on the kitchen floor cutting open carrier bags <laughs> and working Not Mike. out. Not Mike. No, you did. Is that what you did? Did you because <laughs> These look like they're sort of based on... They are. It's a supermarket carrier bag, basically. And you've deconstructed yeah. and solved yeah. the... How do they make these? Yeah. Chris has got in touch to say, <laughs> for my niece and nephew, my mum and dad are Nanan and Gogog. Oh, Gogog. That's unusual. That's cute. Yeah. Well, sometimes people get called by, um, you know, what their, what their babies can say. Say, yes, yes. <laughs> Which I love. But... Um, uh, we've got friends who'd call their grandma Bam. Uh, no, um, 
well, called Grandad Bampy, which I think oh, is Welsh, Grampy. isn't it? Is it? They're, well, it might be. I don't yeah. know. But they call him Bampy. <laughs> and oh, what's it? Anyway. I love all kiddies speak I like do, that, though, because I'm going to embarrass do. Becky now. She um, loved Peter Rabbit, but it was Mrs. Tinklewinkle, the, the, the hedgehog. Mrs. Tinklewinkle. <laughs> they do oh, that, no, though, I, don't they, hedgehogs? Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere yeah, so and I've, everywhere. I've pinned that now. So you've got the little bit that you sewed there, the centimetre mm -hmm. you sewed there, and then you've folded in half the other sides, and now I'm going to so just sew So all of those along. layers together, you sew along the whole lot? Yeah. Rosemary says, good morning. Absolutely brilliant pattern. Genius, aren't they? My hubby and I are called Mama and Grumps by our grandson. <laughs> For any reason. <laughs> you imagine, don't you? Yeah. Grumps. Grumps. Oh, how lovely. Oh, it is lovely, though. <laughs> it is lovely. Another one. I'm Granny Sparkle to my grandchildren. Oh, how lovely. Do you like a bit of sparkle? Yeah. That's Kate. That's cute. <laughs> Granny Sparkle. There and of go. course, are you familiar with the Katie Morag? Storybooks. No. Oh, you'll have to be getting a collection of those in no. for the grandies. Um, Granny, Granny Island, and Granny is it Granny Mainland? She <laughs> she lives on a little <laughs> island in the Shetlands. Yeah. And then she's got the Granny on the mainland, who's quite sophisticated and worldly, and then Granny Island, who farms <laughs> sheep. It's a whole new world for it you, is, Alison. Yes. Right. So you notice I did that on the outside as well because yes. we we've got our. Um, French seams. I'm now turning those through and I'm going to sew along the bottom again. Yes. And that will just. Can I just press that? Oh, there, absolutely. The, Is this on? That's on yes, a wool I did and put silk. It on wool and oh, silk. two spots okay. Yeah. 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 I'll just press that in. If you don't want to or you haven't got an iron, one of the. Um, Roll and press are quite mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't um, hold it quite as well, but it'll still hold it in place. So before I do that, there we go. And then I will pin this to hold it down. Chris has asked, is the pattern available on its own? Absolutely. Details are on screen right there. 9.99. You get all three bag patterns, plus all of the appliques, all the reversed letters and the, um, you know, recycling sign, all that. Oh, Bruce, I wish you'd switched cameras just then. That would have taught her a lesson. What was it? she doing? Oh, laughing about. <laughs> Children <laughs> Suffolk says, I got my kit. I'm silly <laughs> nanny and grumpy granddad. He's <laughs> always got a grumpy face, but Aww. the kids absolutely adore Adoring. him. Yeah. Aww. Well, some people do just have that sort of grumpy face, but they're still lovely. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so now I'm going to turn that back in. So that's still finished, but now to make the square bottom, this mm -hmm. is the origami bit, yeah. you're going to fold this so this seam, where are we? Oh, yeah, get all these out of the way a minute. Yes. Hang on, that one's twisted. That's what it is, isn't it? The bag's in the way. There, there we go. So here's our seam. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold out to the end seam. But then this seam is going to run along that seam. Ah, so centre it. you see what it. I mean? Yes. And then that's pulled out. I'll just pin that down. Oh, thank you, Julie. She says Bampy is Welsh. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Her dad was called Bampy by my niece and nephew. It is Welsh. Ah. Another message. Congratulations, Alison. Thank you. My mum is called Big Nanny to her great grandchildren. She's five foot two and ninety-one <laughs> years old. <laughs> Big Granny. <laughs> I've, I've turned her Scottish as well. Oh, I don't know yes. why. She's not. Yeah. But right. Big, so now. Big Granny. <laughs> Big Granny. <laughs> Hi, oh, lovely show. I'm known as Nanny Biscuit due to an always full biscuit, biscuit tin. tin. <laughs> oh, Karen, you don't want to adopt me, do you? <laughs> Nanny Biscuit. Did you celebrate National Biscuit Day on Monday? No, I watched you and it was very funny. It was such a lovely show. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Sand is fabulous. I did as well, message in she? and I'm very disappointed in you. 
because I said today is National Wear a Dress Day. It is. It <laughs> is. It is. And I mean, National dress. Nail Polish Day. Yes. You've got your sparkly yes. on. I'm yeah. very disappointing. <laughs> this actually, although this looks like a shirt, it's actually a shirt waisted dress. Oh, is it? Oh, I've got that, about I'll, I'll 12 inches you tucked then. in. Yeah, I'll forgive you. <laughs> oh, and then you sew down the centre. I'm sewing down the centre. And this is what makes the box at the bottom so that you can take your big items. So this might be those big boxes of cat food. Big boxes of cereal. Your loo roll, oh. your kitchen roll, all that stuff. Have I gone all the way along? Oh no, I've missed a little bit. I'll do a little bit more. There we are, to there. And ripstop, easy to sew? Very, yeah. I mean, I must admit, I my machine at home I tend to use my walking foot because it's part of the machine. Yes. Um, so I never take it off. And I, when I came in today, I said, "Oh, I'll try the machine to see if I need it." I haven't got it on. It's fine. And it's this is the five seventy doing... from Elna. Brilliant. There we go. It's done. It's so clever. That is so, so clever. So you've got a clever. lovely big bag. And also, they've got um, short handles so that you can carry them. Because I yeah. was told off. I had a bad back, and I had a chiropractor tell me off. For putting shopping on my shoulders oh okay yeah so i always carry it by hand now mm -hmm. it's so a brilliant the profile of the bag is fabulous isn't it you've got that really lovely wide opening at the top and then a really wide base at the bottom it is genius a lot mm. of people have used that word this morning for your patterns alison and these really oh, are yeah. genius <laughs> Shall i show you how to fold it yes please record this bit <laughs> so you flatten the bottom fold it in half and then just roll it up and in she blows in she goes look at that and this is really why you need to use the rip stop isn't it or yeah poly -cotton. or the poly cotton yeah because yeah. i mean I would call put these as utility bags really mm. you know I mean we all have our lovely um, quilted bags and, and applique bags yeah that we take shopping yes post shopping yes. you know not the supermarket yeah this so is going this to is, getting this is shoving milk. your handbag and yeah <laughs> hope it's there when you get in the supermarket oh That's yes well I'm I'm the king of forgetting yeah. um, Sue says did you say the bags come out of one meter or half a half meter, a meter. Each bag. Each bag is half a metre, yeah. And it has, you use as much of the fabric as you can so that there's so little waste. It just gives you a bigger bag if yeah. you've got uh, that there. So can we just... Um, can I just show you this one very absolutely, quickly? Absolutely, yes, I please. won't put the pocket on because that's going to take a little bit of time. But basically, you go all the way around the outside edge and then when you've finished, you push that one down there and that one comes up there over the top because when you put the bag in this is the other way round so yeah. then it will have the bit over the bottom rather than the bottom over the top mm -hmm. if you get the drift and then you just sew it into place mm -hmm. so that's that there but this is very this is the carrier bag mm -hmm. which is that one there mm -hmm. not the plastic bag it's not a plastic bag no so we'll just very quickly Actually, what I'll do, I won't do French seams, but this is only just for the demo because you do want to do French seams mm -hmm. to give it the strength. But so that I can show you how to fold this all together, I'll just do it with a single seam. Gotcha. Sharon says, good morning. Grandkids are the best. I'm Nanny Cake and, ha and hubby is Gang Gan. <laughs> Thank you. Jane says, good morning Stuart and Alison. I was celebrating last my birthday last night, so I'm a bit late this morning. <laughs> like that was it, Jane. Congratulations though, happy birthday. <laughs> but huge congratulations to Alison. You're going to be a wonderful nanny. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You do finish off the um the tops around the handles and around the neck you do that with a double turn and on ripstop that helps if you do it with 
an iron. Yes. Iron it over once and then go back and, and iron it again. Right, I've done yeah. that. I'm going to go. Now, Lowry, who's bottom. in Cambridgeshire, asks, Hi, Stuart and Alison, love these. I've never used ripstop. Is it a normal needle and thread that you use? Yes, I've got an ordinary polyester thread. Is that um, important to use polyester thread? Yeah, because the cotton, I, th oh, I can't say that cotton isn't that strong, can I? But I, I would use a polyester because you, you've got a, it's not a natural um, fabric you're no. working with, is it? I use Gutterman Sewell for everything. Oh, yeah. And that's polyester. Yeah. So, so normal thread, polyester preferably. What about the needle? This is a universal needle. Just have the smallest one that you've got because obviously you're piercing through this fabric. Yeah, so like a 70, 75. Yeah, I think this was a 70, I think that, mm -hmm. uh, oh, what's it? I love the, um, the little knot and the scissors on these are brilliant, aren't they? Are they are good, they are good. Oh, and you were saying earlier on you need a, a sharp needle, not, not, a, not being sarcastic there. The needle needs to be one that with a sharp point. Yeah, and I would, have a new one yeah um when you start yeah because it really does make a difference yeah because so you do need to pierce this fabric yes. you're not actually separating threads like you are with uh, a polycotton no i suppose or... not you're actually physically making a hole yeah so a quilting machine needle would be fine a, yeah. a microtex this won't take a minute hannah <laughs> Or, um, Once I got this. but just not something like a um, ballpoint needle that wouldn't do the job. While I'm doing um, turning this through, mm. if you'd like to open that one out, I will. That is your roll. You'll get the gist of what happens. Oh. It's a concertina towards the center. Yeah. But it's very important that the handles are put on and they have that shape. If you have a look at the handle. Yeah. Because, so there's sort of flat to it. Yeah, because then... you'll see when you've got things in and you actually pull it, you need that shape because it may rip the fabric if you just oh. do a square. Okay. Got you. So you concertina back and forth. Yeah. Right, I would normally press this bit here, but... Do you want to? I can get out the way. No, it's all right, because I don't want to... I want to sew it so that you can <coughs> see So presumably the with gist. these um, concertina folds, you measure and make a little mark to about, for all of your... About two and a half inches. I mean, that one is a lot bigger than the other one, mm. but... Um, that's because the fabric was longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what I've done is I folded the handles in half. And is this as simple as just sewing over the edge? Yes, basically. Putting a binding over the edge, yeah. Ah, uh, you know, smart, <laughs> very, very smart. I'll be giving this one to Mike to take to the supermarket. This is going to be a bit rough because it's not finished <laughs> with French seeds. So Mike's getting it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> because you would do this on the outside like this, mm -hmm. then turn it inside out. Yeah. French seams are ace though, aren't they? They are, yeah. And really good for unlined things like unlined bags. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you fold the I'll do it inside. In. Yeah, I'll do it inside out now, and because of the time. But that's basically your carrier bag. Because I need to do another row like that, mm -hmm. and then these get pinned like this. Mm -hmm. And you sew, sew across there, on the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that one gets folded in half and that gets sewn along there. 
and that's your carrier bag. So when you say it gets sewn along there, you sew along your across seam. the top. So yeah. just to hold those two into place. Yeah. And that also neatens everything. Neatens it's absolutely everything. brilliant. Yeah, so clever. I mean, it's it's inside out because I would do mm -hmm. another one and then turn it right through. Yeah. So yeah. So that's your carrier Amazing. bag. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've you no know, idea what the time is. It's amazing though, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. Just. So innovative <laughs> and clever. And <laughs> and actually not what I was expecting at all. No. I saw a trio of totes and I thought we'll have a small, a medium and a large yeah. with boxed bottoms yeah. and you know, but that was really different, <laughs> really innovative. Just lovely, thank you. Um, now, just need to recap the pattern. So I'm gonna leave you Okie dokie. in peace. Um, we'll start off with the pattern recap. All of the bundles have gone. The only way to get the pattern now is pattern on its own. 9 99 for Alice and Marion's trio of totes. Instructions to make three different shopping totes. Um, minimal space taken up in your bag or in your pocket. They all designed to fold down into almost nothing. Particularly if you use ripstop or poly cotton more of these in baskets than we have available please check out check out check out all the bundles have sold out very quickly if you want ripstop by the half meter go onto the website we've got lots and lots of different colors half a meter makes one bag no need to search for it if you go straight to watch live and then go to today's show deals or um what's coming up probably they're still in what's coming up at the moment but um, we'll try and put them through during the break so that's the pattern on its own for 9.99 that is super value well done if you managed to get that that's a brilliant buy today now then we've also we've just come back full circle we've got alice and marion's beautiful embroidered floral pendant kits we've got fewer than 20 of each one left now now the most limited that we have at the moment is the blue so you get this lovely wedgwood blue pre-marked fabric so your floral embroidery design is pre-marked for you you get your threads your fabric your needle all of your components for your pendant it's very easy to assemble you even get the glue mm -hmm. to glue the embroidery into the pendant the chain of the lot for 16.99 absolutely love that isn't the outside shape gorgeous they're all very elegant very elegant so that's our first option um, then we've got the black available so this was the back in stock this one sold out very very quickly last time Alison was here and that's gorgeous little um, like woven roses all hand embroidery no special equipment required you even get the needle just add scissors all right and then the last one again this was brand new today is the ecru background and this one's got a little butterfly um, but you could also do a little bumblebee as Alison did on her version love it I love this time of year for all the insects in the garden it's another world isn't it open up again isn't it it's lovely yeah, yeah yeah it really is yeah and all the lovely butterflies and yeah. things that you see i was amazed because when i sit out from my desk and look out into the garden i look out into trees and uh, one week it can be all bare mm. and then in a week's time it's all green and beautiful yeah. it's marvelous absolutely yeah, gorgeous absolutely marvelous. you have a very very enviable sewing space don't you <laughs> we see pictures people wouldn't want to be lovely. in there at the minute because it's <laughs> it's terrible. Good. I really need to spend a few weeks just sorting things a out. A few weeks. Oh, what's yeah. that? It is that bad. Charlie will sometimes come into my um, <laughs> studio and help me tidy up. He's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. My mum used to. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't find anything, but no, it was nice no. to have it tidy. But it's still nice to have it tidy for a bit. Because yeah, even though it's messy, it I could find everything. Of course. But I really need to take some time out and do that. <laughs> Oh, fabulous. I'm glad to know you're like the rest of us, Alison. I'm glad to know other people are like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And as soon as it's tidy, 
I can't find anything. Um, <laughs> Alison, Maris, Mary and everybody, absolutely wonderful. Thanks for that hour. Thank you very much. We've got a second hour together where we'll be celebrating yes. all things barbecue. And yes. <laughs> I hope Father's you've got Day's your... coming, you think? It is, yeah. it is. Perfect timing, actually. And also barbecue season is just around the corner. So we'll have another yeah. lovely hour with Alison. <laughs> um, Granny Alison, as I'm going to call her from now on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to a little break. When we come back, I've got the solution to my worst sewing job uh, extra wide backing fabrics for quilts and wadding so i'll see you after this short break town street have our very own app you can now watch and shop from anywhere simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet then log in or create an account and you're done you can watch us live from anywhere browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time and remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one p and all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company this morning and good morning, Leslie Joy. Um, and morning to everybody. Now, um, this hour is about extra wide backing fabrics and waddings, um, solves that number one pain point for me when it comes to quilt making, which is joining fabric to make the backing. We've got extra wides today. But I just wanted to mention, we've got panels for my brand new, uh, the Borrow bag. Um, in stock let me talk you through two options two options now the blue taupe i'm going to talk about very quickly because we've got four panels in stock that's it and when they're gone um that's all we've got right now so brown taupe sorry blue taupe you get on the panel you get everything for the outside of the bag so the front the back the flap you get your shoulder strap, adjustable shoulder strap and ring attachments, the strap lining, and then inside you get your all your lining fabrics for inside. You also get um, fabric for an inside pocket as well and a little tab that you can, I've put a key fob on there, but um, you can actually use that 
with um, a fat you've got fabric to cover a button with and rather than the flap you can have a, a loop and button there or you can have no flap so it would be like that just an open bag and then you can put the loop and the button just to close it so lots of options um, we'll take out of the, the graphics because uh, that's going to go um, you get instructions printed on the panel by the way so you get everything for the outer the lining and the instructions you will need to buy a bit of metalware so I've used some one and a half inch aperture D-rings and lobster clasps for the shoulder strap. You could use rectangular rings instead. Um, you can make an adjustable shoulder strap if you use a strap slider, so one and a half inch aperture of that. And that's all the metalware that you need. Um, I have used these rather snazzy leather buckles on mine, which are out of stock, unfortunately, at the moment. But what you could do is you could put a magnetic fastening inside there and here and have it, uh, sorry, in here and have it as a magnetic snap, or you can do button and loop. So you don't need much extra. I've used um, in our form, Bosley in our form in one of them, and I used, um, what's the other one that we have? Not in our form. Styleville, Styleville, um, in the other so just a fusible foam is good all right so this is the other option this is the borrow bag in blue and it's a sort of a faux version of the japanese borrow technique taken from the japanese word borrow borrow which means sort of tattered or ragged and it's a sort of age-old recycling method where bits of old fabrics often from work kimonos and old linens are torn or cut into rectangles and squares layered over each other on top of a foundation muslin something like that and then once they're all laid out running stitches and decorative stitches are added over the top to hold all of the layers together so they're not pieced, they're almost appliqued. This is a faux version because this is all printed on a panel. So you just get all of that lovely effect. I've added machine quilting in straight lines. You could do diagonal. You could do a mixture of diagonal and straight. You could do wavy lines. You could quilt around each um, section. You could quilt, um, i tell you what would be nice actually, concentric circles that then intersected with others. That would look lovely. Or a clamshell pattern. Lots of different ways you could quilt this. But add lots of decorative stitching. It's a quick bag to make up once that's done. Um, and a really, really usable size. I am expecting to see lots of you please wearing this at Festival of Quilts. <laughs> yeah, I want to see you on my stand or at the Quilters Guild stand or on stage. I'm presenting the awards again this year. And, um, and also, I haven't said anything about this on air, but um, I've been made the patron of the Quilters Guild of the British Isles. Um, it was announced about 10 days ago, which I'm super proud of. And um, I love the work of the Guild and I'm gonna be working with them as well. So if you're not already a member of the Quilters Guild, what are you waiting for? Go and join, please. Now, that's the borrow bag panels. Now we need to get on with meat and tears of the show. Oh, thank you, Hannah. No, it's lovely. I, I, love, I love what the Quilters Guild do. Uh, is there a, do I have a title? I, well, just, you know, I'm the patron. Charlie keeps calling me the patron saint of quilting, which is not, it's not that. We should probably have a party. I'm all for a party. Yes, all right then. We'll do drinks after work. Come on, you lot. Come with me. <laughs> oh, our director Bruce wants to commission a stained glass window. <laughs> Please, can we start with these? Because I think I might actually scream with delight at the colour. Look at these. Look at these. Well, we've got to start with this one. Um, these are extra wide backing fabrics. However, these are extra wide, pure cotton fabrics in the most delicious range of colours. So if you're thinking like me, dressmaking, hello, soft furnishings. 
what about 11.99 are you kidding this is brand new this is amazing this is amazing 100 cotton are you thinking dressmaking what about cushions for in the garden are just amazing alex i need you oh sorry just come and grab that for a second for me thank you um i just need to show you just how come on it's not to be pulled on set there we go isn't that cool isn't that cool <laughs> they are gorgeous absolutely beautiful um very interiors aren't they um as i say think about something like a play tent for in the garden what about art quilts i mean you could use this as a backdrop for a plique there is absolutely no reason why this can't be used on the front of a quilt use it for piecing use it for blocks borders bindings dressmaking that is absolutely delicious different shades of carmine and claret deep cranberry there's also vibrant coral and i love this sort of touch of verdigris in there as well absolutely stunning i think tim holtz would be proud of that um absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous 11.99 per half meter now width wise all of these are 274 centimeters wide now hannah in inches how wide is that 108 108 look at that quick as a flash 108 inches there are less than 20 meters left now keep in mind if you're buying this for a up to a queen size quilt you want two and a half meters if you want it for king size go three my personal feelings are go three meters six units because that will easily back up to a king size but if you're doing smaller it will give you extra fabric to maybe make or back some pillows some cushions maybe a few other accessories it's also superb for lining bags with or making bags. It's very slightly thinner than quilt weight cotton. So you could potentially use it for Alison Marion's bags. Now, next up, we've got ending 6.5. So this is the same design, but this is called Tuscany. What was the last one called? Oh, oh we don't know. We don't know. Oh. That's a bit of me. Carmine. Carmine. Yeah. That's a bit of me. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? I think a beautiful sort of fitted shift dress, sleeveless shift dress in that would be stunning. You would be a walking work of art. Or you could line a coat in that. That would be lovely. What about beanbag chairs for in the garden? If you've got my first book, So Fabulous, that's got a pattern for a beanbag chair in it. And, um, you know, they're large bits of fabric, but you'd easily get it out of probably a meter and a half of fabric. You have plenty there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, these are kind of ochre, gold, um, kind of deep rust colours, brighter oranges. There's a little bit of violet and jade green in there too. And of course, your backing fabric is rarely seen. Well, it probably won't be seen on when you've got your quilt the right way up. Um, so you can tone your backings to your quilts. They don't have to match. Um, collector in Lancashire says, Morning Stuart and the lovely Alison. I'm undecided on the Elna 560 or 70. What extras does the 570 have or do? Thank you for asking the question. At 12 o'clock, I'm going to be looking in detail at the 550, uh, 60 and 70. And I will cover all of the different machines. So we'll do a comparison in that hour. So 12 o'clock, stay tuned. All right, next up, I'm going to jump to this one. This ends 8-0 because the colours are just dazzling. Now, I'm going to just put my neck out here and say this one's going to fly. So if you want this one, grab this one. Uh, hold on to your seats. Look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? Um, 
Bruce, I think this would work for the stained glass window, wouldn't it? This would definitely be the backdrop for the stained glass window. It looks like it's lit from behind. Yeah, I want you to base the stained glass window dedicated to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. David Hockney's interested in doing it. Has he got in touch? There. Look, what I'm, thi what I'm thinking is, look, that... Yeah, you think, are you with me? I think that could work. Gosh, isn't it beautiful, though? Absolutely lovely. You get half a metre half a meter of this fabric again stunning for dressmaking absolutely dazzling for a quilt backing think about the cave these are the colors of caves purples blues greens violets these are absolutely those colors as much as the carmine are his reds and pinks and the tuscany are the yellows i mean these are very suited to to cave colors I feel this one absolutely stunning. I love that. Um, 108 inches wide. If you're buying backing for up to queen size, two and a half meters, for king size, go three. My personal preference is to get three anyway. A message from Jackie in Kent. Good morning. Enjoying the programme as usual. The Tuscany fabric brought back memories. In the 1960s, I had a shift dress in almost the same. Jackie, that's exactly what I was thinking. It had got those real kind of sleeveless, quite fitted darts, sort of quite slinky, just gorgeous. I'm glad that brought back memories. I, I hope they're happy ones. Um, this next one, well just as I think I found my favourite. This is 8-0. Again, just painterly and abstract, fresh, modern, but also has a bit of a retro feel to it. Fabulous, isn't it? Who says the back of a quilt should be boring? No one says that. But I mean, often people will put something very plain on the back of a quilt. Um, I suppose because perhaps it's the cheapest option sometimes or it's the look you want. But, um, you know, if you're... If the back of your quilting doesn't look quite as immaculate as the front of your quilting on a fabric as patterned as this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't show. Imagine using this for the borders on a quilt as well. And what you could do then is you could cut this from the width and you'd have enough to do the long borders without joins. I mean, that's just wonderful. That's just a gift not to have to join fabrics together for borders either. Very, very popular on these fabrics. Um, each of the colourways is going very, very well. Let's go dark and moody next. Let's do the navy blue. This is ending 3-9. <coughs> Again, if you're a fan of Tim Holtz fabrics and you or you like Moda Grunge, um, this is going to fit really well with that. So this is the deepest, darkest, inky indigos, deep turquoise and purple in there as well and a good old smattering of black so this is the deepest darkest color so again if you wanted to make something like a duvet cover for a teenager's bedroom I don't want to be very sort of you know gendered about this but I'm thinking you know kind of teenage boys <laughs> make a duvet that's dark and kind of won't show the dirt i'll just i'll just say it i'll just say it <laughs> it wouldn't show the dirt <laughs> uh, no but it's a great color isn't it this would also be really good for maybe making bags out of rucksacks um fused to something like in our form um the fact that this is a just a cotton fabric really makes no odds fuse it to something like in our form and then quilt it and it's a sturdy strong layer so perfect for bags gorgeous 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 love that 
when we shot um, simple shape stunning quilts but the publishers had rented this fabulous house location house um, and sometimes they're lived in most of the time they lived in occasionally they're not which is a bit bizarre you get this beautiful house full of lovely furniture and no one lives there but anyway um, and we were given free run of the house except we were told this one particular bedroom you cannot go in there until after um, midday because that's where the teenage boy was. And he was sleeping, he was comatosed until 12 o'clock. Um, and his whole bedroom was this same deep dark navy, so yeah. And then as soon as he vacated the room, the dog ran in and jumped on his bed and then wouldn't move. Um, next up, we have got, ending 3-1, 3-1. Gosh, now this one, tell me if I'm seeing things, but I'm looking at this and I'm seeing kind of a castle or a church and railings. Yes, kind of foggy wintry morning. Yeah, and trees and things like that. It's very landscapey, isn't it? gorgeous you know I could actually imagine using that to make hear me out on this to make a Christmas tree skirt because it's got that kind of frosty morning you know maybe with like a white scalloped border around the outside edge or oh <laughs> you don't want to know uh, well, I love those teals. I love those teals and turquoises. You know, sometimes the, the gallery can be really helpful and other times they really are just working against me. Um, yes, moving on. Uh, next up, we've got, wow, that's, this is gorgeous. Love that. What's that giving you vibes of, Hannah? Hmm? Japan, Japan, I like that. Yeah, sort of the colours of cherry blossoms and sort of crisp, clear sky, bit ethereal, bit fairy, bit unicorn, bit mermaid. It's giving me all those Dungeons and Dragons vibes. There really is a backing fabric for everyone, isn't there here? Delicious. These are all brand new as well today. Um, I was looking through the Sewing Street website yesterday of different fabrics. I needed to buy some fabrics for a quilt. And um, you know, it just makes me realize when we have fabrics on air, it really is the time to get them because that's when you see them at their best and hmm, all brand new. Is that, yes. <gasps> Oh, I haven't seen this before. I'm liking this. You're loving this. Yes, 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 yes. Tumbling blocks in multicolored rainbow. This is brand new. This is brand new. Okay. So now I'm just wondering, now be honest, be honest everyone. I'm just wondering, all in one, yeah, play suit for the summer, could I? Could I get away with that? Dungarees on the farm? I would, I would. Dung dungarees in that would be super cute, actually. They would. And then you could mix and match different brightly coloured t-shirts. Couldn't you? Let me show you how wide these are, Kat. Thank you. 108 inches, same width as the others. But look at all that fabric that you get in half a metre. Look at all <laughs> You don't mind, do you? No, no, cat doesn't mind. <laughs> 13 for all of that. Now, if you're a bag maker, what about using this on your bags? Half a metre would probably make three bags. Scatter cushions for the garden. 
What about making something like, um, you know, just like a long lounging cushion? You can make it from like four or five pillows put together. You know, use this as the casing. And then you've just got somewhere you can just kind of throw down on the ground and just chill and relax. Yeah, you can do things like uh, make storage bags for quilts, for duvets, things like that as well. So have them rolled up and put inside a drawstring bag. That's good. Um, this would also be really good for maybe doing things like making, um, you know, play aprons or tabards, things like that for children when they're doing painting. I mean, obviously they're not waterproof or anything like that, but they'll cover clothes and then throw them in the washing machine. They'll wash really well. They're lovely, sort of silky, soft, smooth, 100% cotton. And what a gorgeous array of colors in there. <clears throat> you could even, I'm just thinking, you could even use this fabric as a sort of colour resource for applique, couldn't you? Because you've got different shades of all these different colours that you could use for applique. Gosh, wouldn't that make a fun challenge for your sewing group? Give everybody um, half of a half meter or even quarter of a, qu of a half meter <laughs> and then give them a challenge give everyone a challenge to create something with that mm, jennifer jennifer morning stuart this would be lovely as a giant bean bag exactly that exactly that stuart you're very naughty making me spend money again uh, you read my mind as well. I've just ordered the Ripple Purple fabric as backing for a cave. Well, it does go perfectly, doesn't it, Jill? And the good news is you won't have to join the fabric. Um, you won't have that ridge down the back of your quilt either. It does make sense. And it's a lot more affordable way of buying that width of fabric than buying separate widths and joining them. So I think all told, you know, we're a, we're a dynamic duo, you and I. We're working as a team. <laughs> Impressionists. Yeah, is it these? This one. Yeah, this is very um, impressionistic in its design. Ooh, it's almost fireworks. Ooh, now I like that. I like that. Gorgeous. So this is called impressionist floral and you can see why it's got that sort of almost pointillism those little dots of different colors really pretty the quality of the prints amazing it is the quality of the fabrics awesome as well it's gorgeous 108 inches wide um, perfect for quilt backings of course borders, binding, sashings, piecing. You can include this in the front of your quilt as well. Wouldn't these make dynamic alternate blocks on a quilt? So you could have these as alternate blocks and then pick out colors from there and then do piecing, maybe sort of big 16 patch patchwork blocks and then these as alternate blocks. That would look lovely. <coughs> Also very, very good for things like beanbag furniture, big floor cushions, um, lots of bags you could make out of these or bag linings if you prefer to use more sort of thicker, robust fabrics on the outside. That would be a gorgeous lining for a faux leather bag, wouldn't it? Faux leather on the outside, that on the inside. Yeah, carpet bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carpet bag shape, but have this on the outside. Yeah, yeah, liking that. Get get your Mary Poppins on. Yeah, liking that, liking that. Brand new today, quarter of that stock has already gone. Um, obviously you're multi-buying. What's the most popular size of multi-buy? Yeah, about two meters. That's two meters is definitely gonna be good for, so two meters is gonna be uh, 39, 78 inches. So that's going to be good for a quilt up to about 70 wide or long. So it could be 70 wide by, well, up to 108 inches. So 70 by 90, 
yeah so that's a really good size for well a twin bed or a double bed topper and I suppose a lot of people who are quilting on domestic sewing machines that's probably about the size that most most of us go up to um, remember if you're buying fabric for long arm for a long arm quilter to use for your backing you need to allow about six inches on every side top and bottom and both sides yes Hannah I'm going to show this one this is like um like a painty apron this is like um what do they call those floor sheets that you use when you're painting dust no yeah well yeah dust sheets yeah it's like a dust sheet and an artist has been at work going wild we'll do that in a minute we'll do that in a minute we've got one with the globe on is it this one? Oh no oh we're teasing you now i'm showing you them but i'm not giving you the details this is lush look at that one that's a bit of me that's a bit of me for sure oh these are all a bit of me actually so these ones are coming up this one this one oh oh that is lovely this is gonna fly out look at that now I'd use that on the borders of a quilt. Use all your blue and navy scraps up for your piecing with white. Use this for the borders and sashings and also for the um, backing of your quilt. Imagine that once that's cut down for sashings, how gorgeous would that look as a sashing or a narrow sashing? Every sashing would look a little bit different. Gorgeous stuff, that's coming up. Uh, this one in creams, torps, greys. So if you like your neutrals, this would also be really good for quilted clothing. So if you've bought um, Sew Girl jackets, you know, the quilted jacket from Sew Girl, <clears throat> this would be gorgeous. Love that. If you want to buy any of these, of course, just jump on, uh, jump online. This is a Tim Holtz one, this. Oh, the quality is gorgeous. The quality is gorgeous. That is really lovely. This is a Tim Holtz one. And has his, is this a definitely Tim Holtz, yeah? Hmm. Beautiful. The quality of the print's amazing. That's lush. Again, 108. Oh, can I just mention this one? Because I've just used this for a qu new quilt pattern that's coming up. But this one I've just used and it was lovely. It looks gorgeous on the back of the quilt, like a lovely warm caramel. Um, and then I am just gonna quickly mention this one again. This has got the globes on it, yeah? Are we gonna give details of this one, Hannah? The one with the globes. 11.99. Oh, 13.99 for this one, thank you. World Globe Multi Extra Wide Backing. 108 inches wide, 13.99 per half meter. Absolutely stunning. And that would be good for wall art, wouldn't it? You could stretch that over artist frames, just staple the fabric to the back and then just pop it up on the wall. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Now, quick break from extra wide backings because today's a big day here at Sewing Street. We've made the announcement this morning that we are now exclusive dealers and partners with Elna. We are the home of Elna now in the UK, the only retailer selling Elna's moving forward. Elna sewing machines, Elna overlockers and Elna embroidery machines. We are offering five years extended warranty on all our key Elna machines this week only, just up until the 7th of June. Um, we're going to quickly look at the 780 sewing machine. Now the 7 El uh, 780 Elna, absolutely brilliant for quilting quilts at home because you've got um, an 11 inch throat space. The throat space is 11 inches. This is the largest throat space of any of the machines that we've got. 
Um, it also has, am I right, 350 stitches. Um, it is also, yeah, 350 stitches, 11 buttonholes, two alphabets, over a thousand stitches per minute, maximum sewing width of nine mil, which is huge, uh, full color and high definition LCD screen. You've also got <clears throat> the sort of pro functions, the semi-industrial functions in this machine. So what you've got is an ordinary needle plate on the machine for your zigzag swing needle. You've got a straight stitch needle plate, so far so good. You've also got what's called an HP plate and you're going to use that with the industrial feet. So you've got an industrial walking foot and an industrial piecing quarter inch foot as well included but the quarter inch foot also has dual feed so it's kind of like a walking foot but it's set up as a piecing foot it's genius it's absolute genius because how often have you have i been doing some piecing with fabric that's a bit awkward tricky flannel things like that that creep and i think oh i wish i could use my walking foot to sew this with but i need a quarter of an inch an accurate quarter of an inch well your machine's got that just amazing it's next level up this is moving into professional sewing this is you know and, and you may not be doing it for a job but you may now really want to have that super slick professional finish that really you need an industrial foot and plate for now you can have five years extended warranty you get five years extended warranty with your elna 780 plus but only until the 7th on the 8th of june it goes back to the standard two years now you're also getting free goodies worth over 136 pounds so that includes magic pins gutterman thread um, fabric quilt batting a stripology squared ruler no you don't get the stripology squared ruler i beg your pardon you get the um rotating cutting mat brilliant stuff thank you <clears throat> and most importantly you get that incredible machine you do get the stripology ruler i thought you did yeah okay um just super <clears throat> right that's the big boy now we've also got the Elna 680 Plus, which is the machine that John Scott's got. I've got the 680 without the plus. Without the plus, I know, I know. I should really have the plus, shouldn't I? But um, th there's a few tweaks that make it the plus. For example, if you look on here, um, on, there we go, just right there when you've got the straight stitch needle plate installed um your machine will actually lock out every other stitch and you will only be able to access these ones which just means you can't break the machine it's so easy with a needle plate straight stitch needle plate with any other machine that you accidentally pick a zigzag stitch and um you know if you're lucky you'll just break the needle. And if you're unlucky, you could break the timing on your machine, which is a you know sewing machine hospital and a repair job. Um, so you just, you don't have to think of it. You know, we use most of the time we remember, but if you forget um, with this machine and you try and program in a zigzag, the machine will just beep at you and it will be locked out and you won't be able to do it. So it's good, it thinks for you. Do you have a question? Hmm. Um, does the Elna 680 come with an extension table? Thanks. Oh, Rita. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Is this, is this one right here? Okay. <clears throat> so, really big, thick, solid. You can see how thick that is. Great quality. Um, you've got four legs on it. We just put two on, just for fun. Um, each one of them has like a little protective pad. And each one of them, you can screw the leg shorter longer so you can adjust every leg independently which means if you've got a bumpety table or an uneven surface you can you can level it up so yes Rita fabulous extension table and this just fits on like 
so it fits on like like that obviously you need all the legs on <laughs> and they need to be the right height as well you adjust them to the table but yeah really strong and stable and oh gosh i mean it's so useful to have the extension table to be honest my extension table lives on my machine the only time i ever take it off is to do free arm sewing um, and i tend to just keep this nearby so i've got access to the feet um, you get your straight stitch needle plate in there that's in the bottom okay and then you've got your accessory box and space in there for extra feet okay so it's useful to keep it handy but I don't tend to sew I don't tend to sew with um, with my accessory box on my machine I tend to always sew with the extension table personally um, you can see it here properly installed. <laughs> uh, Janie says, hi Stuart, can you control the speed of the Elna 680 with a setting, please? Janie, that's a great question. So you've, what you've got here at the front, okay, is just right here, you've got a speed controller with a tortoise and a hare. <laughs> so if you set it to its slowest speed, if you're using the foot pedal, it doesn't matter how hard you press on the foot pedal, you cannot go above the slowest setting, so to speed. So think of it then as a speed limiter. So if you have it on the fastest speed and you're using the foot pedal, you can still sew slowly. Yeah, it's all down to your foot pressure. So often it's a good idea to have it on about a medium speed and then you can sew, even with your foot flat to the floor, it'll only go to the medium speed. Now, if you do pedal free sewing, this is your speed controller. So with a pedal, it's the speed limiter. Without the pedal, this is the speed controller. So if you have it set on the fastest speed, and you press the start button here, your machine will start slow sewing slowly, but only really for the first stitch or two, and the machine is cranking up the speed, and then it will sew at full speed. And the only way to then stop it, you can't slow it down as such, is to press the stop button, or go to the speed controller and slide it down. But you will be sewing as you do that. My top tip for when you're using pedal free sewing is to always knock it down to the slowest speed, press start, establish your seam, and then as you're sewing that seam, use one of your hands just to increase the speed up to about a medium speed. And then sew the majority of your seam, and then as you're getting towards the end of it, just knock that back down to the slowest speed for the last few stitches. It gives you a lot more control. And then, and then click the, the stop button. But a fabulous, versatile all-rounder. A message, thank you. Hi Stuart, I've ordered my 680 plus. Welcome to the family. Uh, I can't wait for it to arrive. I've only been sewing, Lindsay, for a short time? I'm guessing. Oh, so for the last 10 years. I mean, Lindsay, for a short time, for a short time. Lindsay, you've bought a brilliant machine and it, it doesn't matter this could be your first machine i mean a mistake lots of us myself included my first sewing machine did three stitches and within about a week i'd outgrown it but of course you can't then go out and buy a brand new machine can you when you've just bought one so i had to kind of you know slog away on this machine which was holding me back for a year more before i could justify buying a new one don't make that mistake Go from, you, you, you might only use the straight stitch to begin with. You might only use the simplest buttonholes and simple functions. As soon as you're ready to move on and do something else, your machine's ready and waiting for you. Right, I'm gonna head back over to the to other side. Ooh. Bruce, you're absolutely outdoing yourself with the slides today so fancy
the circles. I know, I did. And they are fabulous. Third of the stock of each of these has already flown out. These, I know, I'm sorry, but they are gorgeous. And they're sort of modern, but also traditional because the fabrics are quite traditional. A duvet cover would be awesome. A sleeping bag would be awesome with this. You could make, do you know what? I was looking online yesterday about how to make insulating blankets using crisp packets, okay? Fused together with an iron. Absolutely brilliant tutorial. There's a charity make them for homeless people, which I think is fabulous and wonderful and well worth supporting. But I was also thinking, you know what? You could make those, you could back them with fabric and you could have them as sort of blankets for when you're in the garden in the evenings. And you don't want to go inside, but it's getting a bit chilly and you want a sort of insulating blanket. Anyway, I just offer that up. This is fab, isn't it? 108 inches wide, natural rings, extra wide. Love it, love it. You could make a duvet cover from this. You could make sleeping bags, bean bag chairs, cushions, clothing, line bags, outer bags. A great value too, $13.99 for half a metre. And I reckon out of half a metre of fabric, you could probably get three or four bags. Children's dresses. We had a lovely message actually. I'm just gonna grab the iPad. We had a lovely message from uh, Kirsty who says, I always buy two metres of the extra wide backing to make dresses. I find they become very soft once they've been washed. I've just finished two dresses. One was from an ombre rainbow one you had. So all the panels are different colors. That sounds divine, divine. Uh, over a third of the stock of that has gone. Half the stock, half the stock. Um, let's look at the blue, possibly my favorite. I don't know actually, I'm torn, I'm torn. I'm like Natalie Imbruglia, I'm torn. It's a gorgeous song, gorgeous video. Um, so deep navy background and then scrappy prints. Yeah, no, I was just reeling at, at um, Bruce's revelation that Natalie Imbruglia Torn is actually a cover. It's a cover. She didn't record the original. Now, of course, I need to know who did. Um, this is lovely. This is lovely, absolutely gorgeous. This would be really nice for Alison Marion's Mummy and Me apron. I feel that would make a rather striking version. And of course, because it's extra wide, it's 108 inches wide, you need far, far less for dressmaking. I mean, it's, excuse me, it's worth getting extra because I couldn't tell you exactly how much you would need to substitute this for a, a, you know, a 54 or a 60 wide fabric. But I mean, it stands to reason that you would probably need about half or two thirds. Gorgeous. How much stock is gone of this or how much have we got left of the blue? Okay. Check out your baskets, please. Check out your baskets, that's all I can say. Um, can we do, please, the one I used for my quilt backing? This ends 28. Um, I'll show you this quilt in a couple of weeks. We'll have the pattern. It's called Cobblestone Log Cabin. And I use this for the backing because it's quite a country style of quilt. I might put some pictures actually on Instagram and Facebook later today so you can see it. Um, and this just fits with that lovely country style of quilting. Um, lovely, warm, rich colours. Um, this would also work beautifully with French general fabrics because they tend to have this warm sort of almost caramelly tea dyed creams and beiges in their in their ranges it mixed beautifully with sort of antique pinks it works well with deep reds it works well with blues as well plus country florals I just thought it was lovely and quilted really nicely like that and then paint splatter 
The drop cloth, that was what I, that was the word I was trying to think of, a drop cloth. Oh, you know, I think that's lovely. Yeah. Personally, I would be using this for um, a play tent or a wigwam, garden wigwam or a playroom wigwam with white painted broomsticks plus this would be super fun. Bunting, pom-poms around the doorway, fairy lights. Yeah, curtains for bunk beds, for privacy. I like that, I like that. June's got in touch. June, you're an absolute angel. Uh, Torn was first recorded by Danish art, in Danish, by Liz Sorensen. Thank you very much for that, June. It's the kind of thing that would have bugged me for the rest of the day. And in Danish. I need to find that now and listen to it. Uh, love that. Okay, um, that is extra white. We've got a few others. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, I like this. This ends 4 9. Oh, please go on, just put this one through. That's lovely. That's almost like, um, you know, those like uh, kitchen worktops, isn't it? That's lovely. There's another colourway of that as well, which I'll just tease you with. But look, I'm just thinking this would go really, really nicely with cork fabrics for sort of beach bags and those kind of very nice. It's a bit of me. Anyway, I need to stop talking because Alison Marion is in the building and the mummy and me apron is on. So she clearly means business. We'll go to a very short break and I will see you after this. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. for ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Now, th this has been a day of announcements. I've, uh, I've got something I need to tell you all. <laughs> something which may come as something of a surprise um, to some of you, not all of you, obviously. <laughs> Um, how do I tell you this? How do I tell you this? Well, we are the new <laughs> partners with Elder. Oh gosh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? You think my buttons are too low? <laughs> They're there. They're there. Just steady on now. Come on. I'll show you my red onion later. <laughs> enough, enough. Okay, now I don't have an announcement to make other than <laughs> Alison Marion is in the host. Hey, you. Hiya. I feel part of the gang now. I've got an apron yeah, on. Yeah, that's right. Yours yeah. looks lovely do I look too. Ready for business. <laughs> you really do. You mean business. You're here <laughs> for business. This is my up the workroom. Oh, is rig it? Out. Yes. <laughs> it matches your blouse beautifully. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous yes, combo. I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Do you? No. no. <laughs> but it's fab. Alison Marion's iconic mummy, dolly and me apron. Uh, we've got it back in stock. Um, this is this uh, show is about barbecuing as well. Hence my dad apron. In actual fact, shall I give you a full... Shall I give you a full... You don't have to put dad on it. You could put um, barbecue on it. And you don't have to. You could put barbecue on it. Come over in the middle, Alison. Come and join. Come and join me. Look, there we go. That way. That way. That way. <laughs> there we go, Dad. Barbecue, Dad. Um, my lettuce leaf does look. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got it all going on. I've got my little <laughs> sliced cheese. <laughs> I've got my little slice of cheese, I've got my lettuce, I've got my red onion, it's a pocket, I would say. <laughs> got it all going on, I think it's fair to say. Uh, also, can I just show you this, because this is rather clever. When I first saw this apron, I thought, gosh, that's quite, that's for a big chap, because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, look, it's a big old apron, but when you pull on these, it makes it completely adjustable for height and size and shape. Um, come here, you. You've got the pattern. We've got the family. It's, it's part of the Happy Families apron. 
um, pattern and you get instructions for making your own bespoke chef style apron with patterns with in, with adjustable straps so this is the base apron so not with the barbecue things on we'll get to that in a second but this is the happy family's apron um Alison what ages or sort of sizes does this cover anybody because I it's not actually a pattern it's instructions where you take the measurements of the person you're making it for and then you do your own cutting out after you've worked out and it's all explained so it's completely customizable yeah. I love that yeah. I love that so anything from a small child yeah I'm going to demo a child's one so awesome yeah. I love that I love that bless you Steph she says you are mean I'm very gullible I was open mouthed for a sec <laughs> Uh, your bun looks tasty. No beef burger for me, though. They're rank. Well, you can have a lovely spicy bean burger just to get those. Um, stop it, Hannah. Thank you. I'll do the jokes. <laughs> oh, so that's the Happy Family's apron pattern, fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> Alison, it's you. It's you. I'm saying. I, I, I swear, it's not me. It's you. Um, now this panel. This is the um, happy, no, this is the, oh, instructions and panel. Oh, awesome, right, okay. Oh, you don't get the pattern on its own. Can you buy the pattern on its own? No, it's with the, gotcha, understood, sorry. So you get your apron and you get your panel. So look, you get barbecue dad, you get lettuce leaves, ketchup, spatula, you get your bun, you get your burger, you get your onion rings, bake, oh, bacon, bacon blue cheese. <laughs> yes, please. Tomatoes, gherkins, you want pickle, burger bun top, more lettuce leaves, I mean, five a day, I'm all for it. Uh, a splash of ketchup, uh, burger ketchup, little drizzle there. There's that cheeky <laughs> the slice of cheese. You get a little mini version there as well, um, and a mini spatula too. So you could put that on a child's apron, couldn't you? Just brilliant. So you get your panel, you get your Happy Families apron pattern, all of that for fourteen ninety nine. That's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Mm. Love it. Um, you will need to buy some cotton canvas fabric for the apron itself and it is recommended to use a cotton canvas for this isn't it well for it'll protection. be more yeah it'll yeah. be more sturdy yeah protect you from any splashes yeah. when you're cooking um so that is that love it <clears throat> now cotton canvas in navy You'll need one meter, and that will take you up to the largest size. So this is 4.49 per half meter, 150 centimeters wide, 100% cotton. Alison, if you were making a child's apron, would half a meter be enough, or do you need to get Depends on a size, meter? really, because yeah. it, uh, you're going to um, work out your own sizes. So yeah. if it's for a small child, like the one I'm demonstrating, yes, yes it would. That there. Look. <clears throat> But we are talking probably up to about three year old and that's it tops yeah, yeah. i mean not me as a three year old yeah. i was wearing adult <laughs> shoes it's um yeah so probably best to go for a meter of that per apron so that's your cotton canvas in navy if you'd like the cotton canvas in deep charcoal gray like i'm wearing um we'll put those details on screen and sends three zero 449 again that's the charcoal gray 150 centimeters wide you want about a meter for an adult or well even a child apron go for a meter do you want to do the um, natural as well yeah so we've got a natural like a kind of ecru it's almost sort of calico colored but it's a cotton canvas again so this would be really good well for any of the aprons but this also works really nicely for mummy and me doesn't yeah. it and uh, it's such a beautiful fabric to then put like um you know ditzy floral binding yeah. Yeah. haven't you got a little video for how to put binding a real i have yes yeah, 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 yeah using yeah. the simplicity by fab. Maker. yeah fab so that's a good base and you could use that for the barbecue apron too <clears throat> 
Okay, lovely. Right, that's that. Shall I mention the cross back? The webbing, yep. Okay, no worries, yep. So you will need some cotton twill tape for doing your um, ties and your necktie. So start off with black, three meters of black cotton webbing. There it is, 399. <coughs> is that for three meters, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, great, great value. <laughs> it's often things like that are hard to track down. Yeah. And three meters is plenty. That's enough for me to have one of these aprons and to have it tie it at the back and bring it to the front. Oh, I like that. So, yeah. yeah, I like that. Um, the web image looks like you only get two meters. I don't know what. No. Oh, no, oh you get two meters. packets. I see, but you get th you get three meters in one packet. Okay, um, and then in white. Can you dye the white? Oh yeah, no yeah. problem because it's cotton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you want white's a good mm. one to have in a you know a bit of a staple. Mm. Uh, my goodness, Stuart, I only stepped out for a minute and you have become a chef. Oh, a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to you and Charlie. Extra <laughs> <laughs> mercy. Oh, I know. Charlie's gonna have a shock. <laughs> we did talk about it. We did talk about it about yeah. fifteen years ago, quite seriously, yeah. you know. And um, yeah, we were, we're thinking of names and all sorts, oh, and then. Gosh. Oh, I don't know. I think we went we went on a really nice holiday, <laughs> <laughs> and we thought, that'd would be, this be yeah. the end to that? Yeah. <laughs> so now we do have kids, yeah, but, but they have four, four legs, legs, hooves, and little horns, and um, you know we love them just the same. <laughs> there are kids. Ah, oh, yes. Don't step out of the room again, Kate. Who knows what might change? Uh, okay. Right. We'll go over, we'll go over. <laughs> We've got other stuff, but we'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> oh, Alison. <sighs> <laughs> so, barbecue season is it, upon us. Yes, and it's Father's Day coming up, isn't it? So it such is. a nice make for that as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on this one, I've purposely put the burger applique to one side to put on this long pocket. Like that. So, and I know it works because I've worn this one. Oh, <laughs> you excellent. You can put your... Um, barbecue tools in mm -hmm. the pot in the long pocket. Oh, that's a useful thing to have. Yeah. So, are you the barbecue chef when it yes, comes? Oh, yes. Yeah. Not sometimes Mike. get Mike to do the dishes. Love that. <laughs> so Mike doesn't muscle in and no. take over the grill. No. Because a lot of men no. do, don't they? No, he's not into that he's sort not of into thing at all. He doesn't cook. No. Has he ever cooked for you? Mm, no. <laughs> Michael, that's a challenge for you. <laughs> No, I mean, whatever works. <laughs> we go out. Nice. I like <laughs> yes. it. I like yeah, it. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. You're off the hook, Mike. Fair <laughs> enough. Right. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. Right. So this one I've actually brought with me to make up. Mm, the cute. little child's one. And as you said, on the panel, there is the little burger. There's and the I, mini. <clears throat> um, and it's somewhere. Last time I did do one with that on and I just put on a plain pocket mm -hmm. and then put this over the top for the child's one mm. but I thought on this one I've already got some started because your pocket you're going to add all your bits that are loose mm -hmm. and some you're going to bond a web down again mm -hmm. that's using your bond a web on the back and that'll hold it in place mm -hmm. But what you're going to do is you're just going to make up your pocket and then, I mean, this one I can cut down. Yes. To make it smaller. Yes, absolutely. Or I did think, wouldn't it be, <laughs> wouldn't it be really cute for a small child to make up the pocket and everything coming off it and then a baker boy hat to be the top oh, of the bun yeah, as a fancy be, dress oh that would be cute <laughs> that yeah. would be cute even with like a bit of lettuce peeping yeah. out of one side yeah. Oh, yeah so i thought that would be cute um on this one i although this is all bond webbed that's sticking up because we've got a, mm. a bow behind there but this one, I haven't bond web this one. This has got wadding underneath it. Ah, to create a uh, padded bun. No, that one was um, actually bond web down. But yes. yeah, this one has got some wadding underneath it. So I'll just go through the pocket a little bit. We'll move mm -hmm. this one out of the way. We also, last time, went through, there's quite a few, um, with the letters we've got, there's a few little words that you can do by, say, cutting this off 
and having that as a zero and oh, things okay. like that. And, you know, because we said, oh, if dad's called Bob. <laughs> yes, yes, easy enough. Or yeah. just rename him. Yes. If father isn't called Bob. Bob, just do it anyway. Yeah. So with the pattern, what you do, this looks a bit strange because it's a funny shape now, but I've already done the bottom and the top. What you do is you measure whoever's going to um, have this. I've got two measurements here. So you do your neck width, the neck to waist, the neck to the hem, and then the half waist measurement. Mm -hmm. And you uh, write them all down here. And then here it tells you what to add where and how to cut it out. Mm -hmm. And it is that simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you end up. So it's a formula. Uh, yeah. I love that's, that. That's it. <laughs> I love that. Um, and I'll just quickly go through with what you're going to do here. So with your pocket, that's going to go on here before you actually finish all your apron. Mm, mm. So that you can finish the edges off nicely. Got you. And also, on this one, oh, you can't see it on that one. Let oh. me show you on this one here. You put it on first because when you turn over at the oh, top. yes. When you turn over here, you're going to have stitching. So it's easier to do all of your decorations first. Mm -hmm. Is the iron on? I've just put it on for you. Oh, yeah, right. With yep. the lettuce, I've already added one of the burgers <coughs> there. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're doing this as if you were doing a um, quilt as you go, really. You're going oh, to yeah. put one side down and then fold that up. Mm -hmm. And with the lettuce, I've cut out round the outside edge with a pair of pinking shears. Mm -hmm. And I'll just pull that up a little bit, the gathers. So machine gathered along the top. Yeah. Just a straight stitch on the longest yeah. length, isn't it? Yeah, on a five my machine goes to. So we'll have that there. In there. All of your projects, I've, I've come to realise, all of your projects have got fun designed into them. Oh, I hope so. Is that so. something you consciously do? Yeah, I hope so, yes, because everything that I do is something that I like myself. Yes. You know, and when I first started, it was all stuff that I'd actually done for either myself or my family. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I love applique, I really mm. do. So I'm going to fold this over the top. I'll take out that Are you pin gonna there. sew and fold it? How clever! <laughs> yeah. Shall I put that? It's been a morning of innovative there. techniques from <laughs> Alice and Marion, hasn't it? I'll put that one there. Christine says, my Gary is a good cook. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I love it. But it wasn't always that way. The first time he made egg fried rice, he put almost oh, half a bottle of oil in the pan. Oh no. I told him it says one tablespoon on the recipe, not one bottle. <laughs> yes, it's... Uh, not everyone can cook. Not everyone wants to cook, do they? Which I get. No, it's not everyone's thing. I mean, I love it. I love to cook. Signature when dish. When I have time. Um, well, I love doing cakes, really. Do you? I mean, it's unusual for me to bring donuts. Which we love I normally anyway. bake. I used to teach to cake decorating. Yes, oh, please. did you? Yeah. Like at college to adults? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So can you do all the fancy sugar paste yeah. flowers? Yeah. And but Love novelty that. cakes were my thing that were I liked they? most. Yeah. Tell me the most unusually shaped cake. Oh, well, if hearts, you can. really. Hearts. You hearts. know, layers of hearts, yeah. Beautiful. People loved that. Did you do wedding cakes or yeah. was that step too far? Yeah, oh, you no, did. I did, yeah. So, not only creative, but nerves of steel. <laughs> yes, I did stop delivering them in the end. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That was a, a nerve wracking delivering. thing. Delivering. Delivering, oh. yeah. Right, okay. So, I would have had, let's put, um, this is going to be the top of the pocket. Now you can make it a double cheeseburger, was Glad yours? Glad to hear it. Yes, it was. Oh, I should imagine so. <laughs> <coughs> so I'll, uh, I'll just, just do read this. A message. Does the Elmer 680 Plus have a start stop button or is it just a pedal please? Oh no, Linda, it's it's um, start stop button or pedal. You can have it either way. Brilliant. Love it. 
when I'm doing and when I'm doing winding a bobbin although I use the foot pedal I always unplug the pedal and when I'm doing buttonholes as well just unplug it because I just think it, it winds a bobbin better because it's a completely consistent speed which gets a better tension and same with a buttonhole I just press the start button it'll sew the whole buttonhole and then it finishes off there's little stitches on the spot and then stops and you can just cut the thread Right, there we go. That can be coming out of the top if you okay. wouldn't mind just yep. literally on just on the folded edge. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's going to be a part of the bun. The, gotcha. the top's going to go on that. There's enough to do the double double burgers, and there's lots of other things. But what I'll do is it just a single a single burger in this one? Yep, it is. I think that's it's a time. little healthier. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to cut this a bit smaller because it's for the child's one. Mm. So if I cut that, could you just lift that leaf for yeah, me? Yeah, of course. I'll just follow around the shape. There we go. There we go. Did you teach so your you daughter to craft? Oh, it, she looks. Yeah, you she, do together she used as to well. do a lot of sewing, but she does a lot more knitting now. Ah. So, right, I would zigzag around that, or you can do it as if it was free motion mm -hmm. to hold that in place because obviously mm -hmm. bond webbed. Mm. And this here would be um, the same. You can either do it like free motion or zigzag mm -hmm. on the. What have I done that? Yeah, that one. Have I done blanket stitch on that one you've got there, or is that Let's no? Have a little it's look. A, like, more like a zigzag. Yeah. So yeah, we've got the zigzag there around the outside edge. So that holds it down. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, just pin that in place for now. Actually, I'll do that. It looks a bit high, doesn't it? There we go. Just Children love an apron place. and they love a pocket, yes, don't they? Yes, they do, yeah. I mean, I made all these for my, my niece and her children. Mm. And even the little boy taking around all the uh, his cars in the pocket and stuff oh, yeah, like yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I find it's best not to inquire what children put in their, their pockets. pockets. Yes. And <laughs> never just, when you're doing the washing, never just put your hand in. <laughs> yeah. Right. So this is the seeded top. Yeah. Lovely. So that can go there. But shall I put the bacon oh, yes, coming please. out? <coughs> bacon so this is where you can do whatever you like with the selection of bits and pieces that, mm -hmm. uh, that there are. I'll put that there. What else have we got? We've got a gherkin. Nice. Do will children like a gherkin? I'm sure. I don't. Don't you? No. Do you like pickles? No. Or? Oh, Mike right. always has mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love a pickle. <laughs> don't, not pickled eggs. No, I won't don't, like I don't those really get either. pickled eggs, but... <laughs> oh, I know what we should be having. We should be having some tomato sauce. I did some tomato sauce. Yes, please. It's on the floor, look. <laughs> no. Can I tell a quick funny story about brown sauce? This will tickle you. When I when I moved to Yorkshire, Charlie and I had been dating for you know a year or so, yeah. and um, he had always gone Ugh, about the fact that I had brown sauce on a bacon sandwich. Oh, right, does yeah. And he said to me, "Oh, that's such a southern thing. No one in Yorkshire or the north eats brown sauce. <laughs> Everyone has tomato ketchup." Yeah. Um, he said, "In fact, brown sauce isn't even available north of Birmingham. If you want brown sauce in the north when you move <laughs> up, you will have to bring your own." So, of course, I was at the stage in our relationship where I believed, believed him <laughs> when he said these things. So, the day after we'd moved into our house, um, we went out for a full English breakfast. And the waitress brought our breakfast and then she said, would you like any sauces? And Alison, I swear, I looked her in the eye and I said to her, well, you might not have ever heard of this, but do you have something known as brown sauce? Well, Charlie was crying with laughter. And I was like, what, what? And she was like, of course we do. And he was like, you'd never worked it out, did you? It was just a joke. <laughs> But of course, that oh, was the brilliant. day the trust went, yeah. <laughs> Alison, and you can never really get it back. There we go. 
Uh, Bex has got in touch to say a friend of mine makes wedding cakes. One was so delicate with lace icing all around three, set all around seven tiers. <gasps> Uh, but to get to the venue, we had to go over a cattle grid. Oh, no. Uh, we had to stop and carry each layer over the drive and then reload the car and repeat at every one. Luckily, we got there eventually. Oh, goodness. I oh, can't wow. imagine. Five tiers was the most I ever did. Not seven. No. Ooh. That's extra. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that looks just, gorgeous. Yeah, that just needs... Um, sewing around now to hold that in place and also on on the pocket mm -hmm. so now we can just carry on and finish the the actual apron itself i noticed you hadn't taken the tomato ketchup bottle right to the edge no because we're going to fold it over Understood. and i thought for the first bit we don't want that underneath there because no, that's going to make it really thick, thick and bulky. so we'll go like that Understood. When makes sense great yeah um so yeah i've already turned over the top and the bottom so i'm just going to do that down the outside edges now and this really is so simple and it's a perfect fit because i've had so many aprons where they've got a fixed top on it yes. and i end up with a, a knot at the top there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah ever so clever and kids love an apron as well don't they put, yeah. a, put an apron on a child and suddenly they've got a job and it's, it's important. a brilliant way as well for fancy dress because you can do all sorts in an apron yeah yes you can be a disney princess or a superhero which would you of be i would be a superhero well absolutely <laughs> and i'd be a disney princess <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm currently obsessed with the new um little mermaid Oh really? Keep singing the oh, songs. The, the thread's broken. Keep singing the songs. Oh, I love that film. Mm, mm, mm. I've just got to re-thread a minute. How are you finding using the 570 Elna? Absolutely fine. It's a lovely yeah. little machine. Yeah, it's good stuff, isn't it? Oh that didn't work good all-rounder if you're new to sewing but also terrific if you want a machine that you can take along to workshops and classes because it's nicely portable, it's still sturdy, but it is definitely one of those machines that you'd be quite happy to carry it around it. and portable. Can't see. Do you want me to? Oh, I've done it. There we You've go. You've done it. Awesome. Yeah. Phew! I dodged a bullet. This is very <laughs> fine thread, actually. Yes, it is. It's an orophil. I think it's an eighty weight. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit thin for this canvas. Let's see. Take that off. A massage, a massage. Uh, my son, <laughs> when he was little, ah, used out. to call brown so sauce dirty sauce. Oh, really? He didn't like it. <laughs> oh, Dillis, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't want that dirty sauce on my sandwich. I've got a new taste for, have you tried the Branston sauce? No. Yes, it's like Branston pickle, but it's smooth. Ooh. Oh, it's lovely, Ooh. really lovely. So you like that, but you don't like gherkins? No. No? No. Yeah. She won't have them. <laughs> See, I could eat a whole jar of gherkins. Oh, no. <coughs> or pickled beetroot. Oh, I like beetroot. <gasps> Do you? I don't mind, and I love pickled onions, because that's what you have with a pasty. Yes, yes. Pasty's not a pasty without a pickled onion. Mm. Is that right? Mm. Actually, beetroot's lovely with it as well. Yeah. I suppose yeah. any pickle. I do like pickled vegetables. My mother-in-law, Becky's nan, um, used to, with a roast dinner, mm. I don't know whether it was a mm. Devon thing, because she was from Devon, she used to Say have no more. A cucumber in vinegar on the table with a, roast, with a roast dinner. I suppose a bit like mint sauce with lamb. You've got oh, that sharpness, is, yes. that acidity. Yeah, it was Ooh. nice. I know what I'll be doing next time <laughs> yeah. I do a roast. Yeah, it was nice. About five more minutes, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine, it's nearly Lovely. done. Lovely, thank you. Got two more seams to do, that's mm -hmm. just over here. You're going to fold this over. Bit this of pressing. Will be, yeah. Can I pass that yeah. along? A centimetre first. I feel this is precision work that needs to be done by the yeah. master. <laughs> Whoops. Just a centimetre first, and then we're going to take it wide enough to take the webbing. 
Oh, Steph's ears have poked up. Cake? Did somebody mention cake? I love cake. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love, the cookie monster. Um, Viv says, my husby, my hubby won't even kiss me if I eat pickles. Oh, really? I eat them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you love our viewers? <laughs> brilliant. Oh, brilliant. that's brilliant. There we go. We can have that back. Right, I've pressed this over. Um, although this doesn't go all the way to the top we're actually going to start sewing at the top because you're going to see the stitching on the front gotcha so we're going to actually sew from the top for continuity it looks better that's the word mm. you swallowed a dictionary <laughs> this morning you <laughs> story of my life oh. <laughs> there we go I taught a boy many years ago who, when I was teaching year six, and um, when he came, he just arrived from Eritrea and he didn't speak any English at all. Oh, really? No. And by the end of year six, in one year, he got level four in the English SAT. Really? Yeah. I've never known, I've never ever seen, he was phenomenal. Yeah. And he had a lust for language. And he used to bring a dictionary with him to school every day and he would pick a new word and then he would use it throughout the day and he would say to me, is this right? Am I using this word right? Oh, Half the words lovely. I didn't know, I had <laughs> yeah. to check. Yeah. But he, yes, extraordinary. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. Just had a real love for language yeah. and um, real talent. Yeah. Mm. Some people just like words, don't they? Yes, very much so. Yeah. I follow somebody on Instagram called Tom Reed Wilson who explains the origin of words. Yeah. He picks a different one every day. It's oh, hilarious. Right. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Right, when we're at the bottom and at the top, we're going to do a little reverse stitch just to support the seam. So this is a channel for the twill tape? It is, yes. Because that's always a bit of a dilemma for me with the neck. If it's fixed, then it's got to be made to measure for the person. Yeah, or it hangs down here. <laughs> or you have to have a buckle yeah. or Velcro. Yeah. This is fully adjustable. Oh, could I have one of the Of course tapes, you can. Please. Do you want white or black? Uh, black, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. now we need a, something to help it through. You can use a... Do you need a specific length? Is that a bodkin? It's a bodkin. Love it. I mean, you can use a, a safety pin if you want to, but these are just lovely little mm. gadgets. And you thread it up one. Obviously, your applique will be uh, sewn down. Mm -hmm. Go up one and down the other, and that's that. That's the easiest neck and waist ties I've ever seen. There we go. Ever. <laughs> and although that looks like it's low down here, when you turn it over, it's actually coming out at the top here. Yes, of course. So it's further away. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Do you do anything with the ends of the? Yeah, just turn them over. Just turn them and stitch yeah. them. Brilliantly simple, wonderful. Love that. So and obviously, cute. I would do the uh, matching threads. But mm -hmm. yeah. I just hold it up a second. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> brilliant for your little helper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're on pickles. Yes, on pickle yes. duty. You're on pickle <laughs> duty. Fab, <laughs> absolutely fab. Actually, when we went to, um, we did a. a a river cruise on the Dnieper through Ukraine Ooh. a few years ago and we went into one of the towns and the ladies do a pickle market where they were raising funds for the soldiers. Oh fantastic. Yeah it was a lovely lovely place. Were you place. into it or refused to? No. No. Not my sort Still of didn't thing. buy no. them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alice and Marion does not do pickles and that is Unless that. it's onions. Um, Sue says, we had cucumber in vinegar with the cold cuts on the table for tea after the Sunday roast. We, she's put in brackets, we lived in the Midlands, as if oh. that explains everything. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Oh, I love that. And onions with the vinegar over yeah. them that you do at lunchtime and then have with, with tea. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Right. 
Let's do panel and instructions first. This is for the um, Happy Families apron. You get the pattern. Remember, it's a multi-size. It doesn't matter whether you're making an apron for a toddler or somebody that's six foot four. The pattern will work. It's all about taking measurements. You also get the burger apron fabric panel. So these are all your embellishments. These are all of your individual elements, the bun, the burger, the bacon, the pickles, um, <laughs> that you can then applique and use for pockets. You will need a meter of cotton canvas to go with, and you can make up to an adult size, but that's your little pairing there for $14.99. Pattern and your burger panel. Now then, we've also got some webbing. Um, Alison's used the black. <laughs> oh yes, I So <laughs> we do it in white. This is the black. This is the black. Imagine this, okay, but black. Sorry. <laughs> Alison. <laughs> Take that out. Get rid of it. it Defends me. Now we've got the white. There we go. Well, I've actually got the white in front of me. There we are. There we are. Three ninety nine. The picture on the website shows like you get two, but it's actually trying to show you the front and the back. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Three ninety nine. That's your webbing, right? Okay. Now, different apron. This is the crossback apron. Um, originally called Mummy and Me, but now sort of a bit rebranded as Mummy Dolly and Me because Alison, you now include a free. Um, well, you've included the dolly sizes. Yeah. I'm going to bring this with me, actually, and come back over to you. Just a minute, just a minute. Right, so tell me about this pattern now, please. So how has it changed? What do we get? You've got the same as before, which was the Mummy and Me, which was the adult size uh, 20 downwards, mm -hmm. and the children's, which were chest sizes. Got you. Um, got you. So now you've also got included these three doll sizes, which is an 18 inch doll, uh, no, 18 inch doll, 15 inch doll, and the 10 inch. Mm -hmm. But they also fit Luna Lapin and Becky's Teddy. Gorgeous. I love a bear. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Now you might get one of either of these yeah, options. Yeah, that's the new packaging, but. Um, you did have a few of these in stock, so I've given them the actual dolly pattern to add to that. Understood. So you could get that. Yeah, you get those two together. Or this one. Or you the might get this one. The only thing that's different is the, it's the front packaging. cover. And do we yeah. still get the free baking day? Yes, that's, that's on the original Gorgeous. pattern. Gorgeous. That's on here, look. No. Oh, fab. And the instructions are on the inside of the um, original instructions. It gives you all the different bits and pieces there. Ah, gotcha. And that's Fantastic. all the pockets that Sewing Street have done, or not all of them, some of the pockets that mm -hmm. Sewing mm -hmm. Street have done. Wonderful. So this is a great base apron. Um, looks lovely in a pattern fabric like you're wearing. Yeah, this is my sewing one. I put one on when I go up to the workroom and I feel as if I'm at work then. Mm. <laughs> Do you mind just coming over here for a second oh. and just giving us the back view? Giving a, tw a twirl? Yes, please. <laughs> With particular emphasis, there we go, look. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> really lovely. Is this like one seam or something, or two seams? There's shoulders, that's it. Shoulder seams, that's yes. it. And you've got a bound version that you're wearing, yes. but you can do a well, faced? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do, you can do a reversible one because mm -hmm. all you've got to do is put two pieces together, wrong sides together, mm -hmm. and then still bind around the outside. Or like the dolly ones, you can turn them inside out once you've stitched around. Mm -hmm. But the dolly one is different to these ones because you actually put fasteners on the shoulders. And so, so it's easy on because and off. Because dolly's arms don't bend. Right. Whereas we can do that to yes. get in. Well, I can at the moment, but it's not <laughs> going well. All right. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so basically, they 
the ones that I've done have all been bound. If you want to do it so that you can reverse it like this, you would just have to add a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Got you. Understood. But with the pattern itself for the adult and the child, let me move that out of the way a minute. It's all cut in one piece. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. It's yep. all cut in one piece, and you do French seams for the shoulders. So that means you do it right sides and then turn over like that. Mm -hmm. Cross in at the back. Yep. So that's there. And this is the bit which is slightly magical and origami-ish. You don't do the two that are side by side. You actually cross, you cross them, them over. Cross them over at the back, mm -hmm. yes. So that one there. And then we'll do that one again. So that's your apron made mm -hmm. with the cross back. Amazing. There. That's it. And you put so, your pocket on first while it's flat. Yes. Yeah. So... I made this, I put a reel on, I don't know whether Hannah's got it, Ooh. I put a reel on um, Facebook and uh, Instagram. Check this using out. Using the Simplicity Binding Maker. It is so, so easy using this. I saw this reel actually. Yeah. I follow you. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched this. <laughs> but out of a fat quarter, I got... Three, I That's think, I think there's five and a half, yeah. Five and a half yards, I think. Amazing. Oh, it's all knotted up now. Typical. That's typical, yeah. Oh, you know, right, I'll tangle it's, there. It's um, special cutting. And there is on the on the Sewing Street website, I think. Mm -hmm. Was it Hannah on the website or on YouTube? I'm not sure. We'll have a look. We'll be on your YouTube, I think. I did do a little film showing how you, you cut these. Yes. It's, ama it's an amazing machine. I've got what one on too. They're so done? cool. Um, <laughs> you get, so what the tape maker does is it's got like a little roller. You cut your fabric um, on the bias at a 45 degree angle. This is one and a half inch cut fabric. And then you wind it around a roller here at the back. Ah, there we go. And then you take it over the top of this bar, push it through the tip now these metal tips you've got a selection of different sizes to make different widths of binding so you can use it for quilting and dressmaking and then this little unit right here is actually like an iron and so it runs the the fabric through the tape maker and as it's going through that box in the middle, it actually irons it, it heats up and it irons it flat and it comes out the other side and it's all perfect. It's like commercial bias binding. It's absolutely brilliant machine. It comes out like that. And you can yeah. make tens of meters or yards in a couple of minutes, can't you? Oh yeah, it doesn't take, well, I've done hundreds and hundreds of yards of it. Mm. I, I love just lovely use of the machine. Mm. I cut up a sheet once. Using the methods that I said. Was it a rainy said, day? Yeah. I'll have to post the photograph of me in my kitchen. I had this by binding all the way along my kitchen. I've got a long kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for these um, aprons, I make the bias binding. This was a three quarter inch, uh, one and a quarter, one and a half to start off with, yep. which made a three quarter yep. inch. And then I pressed it in half. Yeah. But what I've done is when I've pressed it, I've actually made one side a little shorter than the other. Yeah, yeah. Because we're going to do this in one. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do it all the way around and then go back and redo it. And it's very difficult if it's not pressed, but I need the other end. Mm -hmm. Oh, unless I start So you've way. done one side slightly shallower. Yeah. Is that going to go on the side you sew from or yes. the underside on the top? Yeah, because then you're guaranteed to have caught the other side. Yes. If you've hit the narrow end, you yeah. definitely hit the wider. Is that the one I... There we are. So if I do it like this, you would normally start on the bit that's underneath, because mm -hmm. that's where your join's going to be. But mm -hmm. Oh no, I can do it like that. Look. You can. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your fabric inside your bias binding and just sew Oh, it's a satisfying job. Yeah. This is lovely fabric. Some of the polar bears are metallic. 
Oh yeah, it's lovely. That's it's like the, frosted. Um, it's Lewis and Irene, it is, isn't yeah. it? And then even going round corners, all you do is just slip it around and you can see it goes around nice. Mm. And then because you've actually pressed it, you're guaranteed to oh, have gosh, caught absolutely. underneath. Fabulous. So it's all done in one. And you don't have any other joins than that first one because you, you start off here and you go all the way round and there's no other joins. You go straight over, round the neck, round the other armhole, all the way round. And then you'll come up and meet back up with this one, up the top where you first started. Mm -hmm. And I, when I did this one, this one here, I had quite a bit of binding left over. <coughs> so out of that fat quarter I made into bias binding, I've got all this left. That's amazing. So it's a really, really economical project yeah. too. So there's just over three yards there. So that'd be about three meters, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got left over after doing the binding all the way around this one here. It's fab. So I love that's it. The, that's the, you do exactly the same with the adult one. Mm -hmm. It's all in one piece again, and you cross the shoulders, just join the shoulders, and then take your binding around. The only thing different I did with this one was I did a double pocket rather than folding and putting the bias binding around a pocket because I had a this cotton. Mm -hmm. I thought rather than have a hem over the top, mm and turning up around here. I just had the two sides together and then turned it through. Yeah, turn, yeah, yeah. turn pocket left, yeah, yeah so it's lovely. Yeah. So it gives it a bit more stability than just a single pocket. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. But the um, dolly one is slightly different because you put the two right sides together, you put your pockets on first and then turning through. You need something that you can turn through with I've got the stiletto here and that just turns it all through. And then you just do up the bottom where you've turned it through. You leave open about two inches at the bottom mm -hmm. and you just turn it all through and then sew up the bottom there and put on a couple of snaps. I don't yeah. know whether we had any press studs, did we? Uh, I'm, don't, I'm not seeing no. them. We've got some on the website. It's a ah, lovely right. message for yeah. you from uh, Collector in Merseyside. Says, I've loved everything Alison's done today. Me oh, too. Such a talented <laughs> and lovely lady. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's a really nice message. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Um, now, just to quickly round up the apron pattern, it's the Alison Marion Mummy Dolly and Me crossback apron pattern. Uh, adult sizes 10 to 20, kids sizes 20 to 33 inch chest, and also the Dolly pattern, which fits a 10, a 15, or a 18, 18 inch doll. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you get that included? It may look like this, or it may look like the original bag with the dolly pattern included. <clears throat> One third of the stock has gone. Now then, I'm just gonna grab the trio of totes. Trio of totes. Um, this has also been incredibly popular today. Alison Marion's brand new pattern, the trio of totes. What have we got? Two two sets of instructions left. That's it. Two. Oh. All right. This uses ripstop, half a meter per half bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the ripstops that are available. Okay, by the half meter. We'll start with bright pink, ending two eight. So this is a bright kind of fluorescent pink. One ninety nine for a half meter, and half a meter will make one bag because they are big roomy bags. So that's what you get, One ninety nine. It's also brilliant for things like um, backing, 
um, or lining other bags with swim bags stuff like that you can use it as the backing for picnic blankets um, it's quite useful inside things like baskets and I made um, bunting, garden bunting out of it oh because you can leave it out all yeah, winds and, and all rain all I did was um, uh, pink and shears yeah oh of course single layer yeah yeah, yeah. Little tents, dens, wigwams in the garden, all good stuff. Uh, <coughs> let's do the yellow next. Lovely, bright, sunshine yellow. Uh, well done if you've already checked out on these. That's a little bit of sunshine there, isn't it? Patricia's got in touch to say, my mother-in-law, pin back your ears here, Alison, you'll like this. <laughs> my mother-in-law used to put baked beans on the Sunday roast. 40 years on, I still do it. It's lovely. Is it? There was Is a, it? There was a restaurant in St Austell in Cornwall that we used to go to d decades ago yeah. called Brown's Grill. Right. And they put beans on everything. Peas and really? baked, baked beans in tomato sauce. They put it on every meal. Ooh. Yeah. Charlie and I stayed at the lakeside in Windermere, a very posh hotel. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, when the breakfast came, there was no baked beans. And Charlie said, oh, could I have some baked beans? And the, wait uh, the waiter said, I'm sorry, sir. We only serve baked beans um, here on Christmas Day. Christmas <laughs> Day? What's Christmas Day about baked beans? There you go. It's there a you staple. Go. It's a special <laughs> treat, apparently. <laughs> so next time we come, I'm bringing my own tin. <laughs> yes. uh, this is the forest green, yeah? Forest green. Oh, emerald emerald oh emerald is it what do i know about color a eh? <laughs> yes we've got a cyan turquoise okay okay we won't get into a big argument about color name <laughs> Okay. Again, half a metre at one ninety nine. Such a brilliantly priced fabric and so useful. It's really thin. It's very packable, squishable. So it's absolutely perfect for making those fold away bags from Alison. Right, next up. It's nice to sew too. Really easy to sew, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What about fluorescent green? This is a really bright green. Um, this is also really useful for making things like little tabards or, um, you know, for when you're cycling or walking, mm. like children to school, yeah. stuff like that as well. Yeah, you can put this down on the beach when you, you can put this down first mm. and then put your towel on top. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't get all, you know, down. They're lovely picnic bags, wouldn't they? Yeah, they, they would. Really nice. That's the bright green. Next up, dark purple, imperial. That's lovely. And I love the texture of Ripstop as well. It's got a sort of almost checked. It's almost like um, the canvas you use for cross stitch, isn't it? Without yes, the holes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, or graph paper. Yeah. And there is a right side and a wrong side. There's a bit, the right side, there's a slight raise to the cross. And on the oh, yes. wrong side, it's more rubbery looking. Yes, yes, yes. Because I so assume it's side. woven right. and then it's had the treatment put on the back to gotcha. waterproof it. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. It might it might just be sort of pressed or something. I don't, perhaps I have to Google that. Mm. Um, royal. Shoe bags. Mm shoe bags mm. this reminds me a bit it's not exactly like the fabric but some of the colors like the bright orange and this blue remind me do you remember those those sports bags you used to get at school they were like almost like a mail order and the school would send the order form home and you could have like the sort of sports kit bag with either a footballer on it or uh no, i'm older than you oh, a similar <laughs> age but but and they used to personalize them I always used to have to have one with a footballer on it. <laughs> I can imagine you on a football <laughs> pitch. <laughs> mm. No interest in that. The navy, yes, the navy. 
Although, when I did my teacher training, I actually qualified as an FA coach, would you believe? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. I did all my cutting out with my um, Fiskars cut ruler, cutting oh, ruler. Oh, okay, and yeah. And it cuts beautifully. With oh, I bet the, it yeah. does. I bet it does. And you could rotary cut this, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. it's all uh, straight lines apart from cutting out the... Um, the carrier bag, mm -hmm. you cut out the... Oh, the curve, yeah. yeah. The so that's the dark navy. <clears throat> I've got black by the half metre. Yeah. They're all there on the website. They're all there on the website. That's the black. Right, I'm coming back over to you. So the dolly pattern isn't available as a separate pattern. This is um, an addition to yes, the mummy that, and me. Yes, that's gone in. Yeah. Um, so that's that's her finished. Oh. So what you do then is you have to put on some press studs. On the larger ones, you could use can snaps, but um, on the smaller ones, I've got little um, snaps there, and you just cross over the over the apron oh it's really the, cute the little so that's the little oh, that's, that's got bears on it too one. yeah i've got um oh it's on the other one oh, i've got a whole set in that i've got the adult one the child one and the three dollies okay yeah and you were saying that the 12 inch fits Luna Lapin. yeah and that one is the 18 inch on the teddy bear that fits the teddy bear yeah very cute yeah and this is basically like the barbies and things like that yes. isn't it so yes the fashion not, doll not that, she, not that she would do any dishes or baking or anything oh cindy oh, used to yeah oh cindy <laughs> she was cindy. a lot more down to yeah. earth wasn't she had she? flat shoes <laughs> I love it. Barbie does everything in heels. Yes, yes. <laughs> so lifelike. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for coming back to us, oh, Alison. It's, it's been right. lovely it's been to lovely. see you. <laughs> I don't get here as often as I used to, but uh, and not it's as nice often when as I do. We would like. <laughs> Thank you. But I suppose you're only going to get busier now, aren't you? Oh with yes, the please. Wonderful <laughs> news. If you <laughs> haven't heard the news, Alison. I'm going to be a granny. I'm going to do this. Becky will say, "Oh, Mum, you didn't do that, did you?" I don't look. want those in there. Look, I do, you don't want all that. No, but look, look. there's the little 12 week scan. We'll just see if we get it. There we go. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> there we go. Look, there's the 12 week scan. Oh, oh at exactly 12 o'clock. What are the chances? <laughs> That's auspicious. If it's a yeah. boy, call it Stuart. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Becky, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, thanks ever so much. It's been lovely. Thank safe you. Safe journey home. It's yes, been lovely thank to see you. you. <laughs> Okay, we are going to go to a break and uh, when we come back we're going to talk a little bit more about Elna sewing machines and overlockers and we're going to have a bit of a closer look at the 5 Series. So uh, we'll see you after this. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts that we show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there!
Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome back everybody uh, to our final hour here on Sewing Street and that didn't look weird did it? We are now the home <laughs> of Elna. Sorry that was terrible. Oh, we'll cut that out won't we? Excellent. We are the home of Elna Sewing Machines. Uh, we are the home of Elna we have joined in partnership with Elna. We are going to be the exclusive retailer of Elna sewing machines, overlockers and embroidery machines from today onwards. So we will have the best deals, the best packages for you. And this week, for the next seven days, we are offering five years extended warranty on all of our key Elna machines. So we've got the five series, we've got the Elna 6 80 plus the 720 the 780 we've got a couple of overlockers on this show as well and they all have five-year extended warranty now there's lots of other deals as well lots of other um, bundles these two beauties well should we start with the 864 the 864 Pro you're getting your five-year extended warranty so this is an overlocker now, can we just mention the actual price of this machine, please? Because £559 is the price. £559. We're doing it today for £429. So we've crashed that price. Um, I was expecting no crashes, uh, but there's one of them. £429. That means the first of three split pays of just 143 pounds so use the split play play use the split pay get three easy pays uh 143 today uh 143 next month and 143 the month after that but the good news is you only have to make the first easy pay split pay and you get your overlocker home get and use it so along with the sewing bees every wednesday night um be inspired do dressmaking and home decor like never before. Beautiful, professional, neatened edges. You've got two, three, and four thread stitches. You have got a cutting blade. You've got your um, catching bin at the front. Absolutely superb machine. This is um, really, really easy to thread. It's um, you know, manual threading, but it's not difficult. Everything's color coded. My top tip, actually, let me just show you. My top tip, let me just show you this. When you come to, when you come to thread your machine, does that work there? Can you see that all right? My top tip when you get your overlocker home is actually to get, not just use um, Gutterman or any sewing thread, get a red, yellow, a green and a blue and put them on the corresponding positions at the back and follow the color coded threading just like this really but you could just use an ordinary reel of thread and it doesn't have to be you know that shade of blue of course just you know four different colors um, and then actually sort of learn where those threads go and what they do your your upper and lower threads um, and it's actually really not a bad idea to stitch out the different stitches using those different colours and it really does help you to understand if you've not used an overlocker before what the machine is doing because if you've only ever used a sewing machine before and you're used to that top thread and that bobbin thread and the way they sort of link together to create the stitch um, an overlocker is a sort of differently formed stitch and it's just really worth doing that just to understand and it will help you moving forward should you ever get any sort of where you need to adjust the tension, you will know what to do because you will be able to see which of those threads needs adjusting. 
and that's just a little tip for you once you've got your machine threaded up the first time most people cut the thread tie the next thread on the next color on and then pull the thread through the machine so you're probably only going to ever thread your overlocker once and once you've got it threaded up away you go 429 price uh, pounds is the price that you pay today it should be over 500 this is an absolutely brilliant day to buy your elna overlocker you're getting an amazingly crashed price i wasn't expecting that at all you're getting five years warranty no extra cost normally you're going to pay 50 60 pounds to extend your warranty you don't pay a penny for that extended five-year warranty but that is only valid for purchases made today and for the rest of this week on the 8th of june five-year warranty gone it's to celebrate our brand new partnership with elna we are now the uk's only retailer of Elna sewing machines. <clears throat> now then, um, if you've got any questions that you want to get in about overlockers or sewing machines or the Elna brand or what we're going to be doing moving forward, then do get them in. Um, it's easy to get in touch. You can send me a message on Facebook. Um, you can email the studio. Uh, you can message the studio, Sewing Street TV, on Facebook. Um, studio at sewingstreet.com is our email address. And uh, we can try and answer that question. Right. Now, next up, we're going to do the air threader. So let me just click that into place and we'll pop that to one side. So the air threading overlocker. Now if threading the overlocker is something that you're going to be doing very regularly and the thought of manual threading um, is not your bag and you want an air threader this is probably about the most keenly priced air threading overlocker i've seen this is the 864 air threader from elna it's a superb machine you can do two three and four thread overlocking stitches it's completely air threaded the only thing you have to do is put the thread through the eye of the needle at the end of it all. That's your only job. Um, you have one job, as they say. Let me tell you a little bit more about this machine. Uh, so, as I said, it's got an air threading system. You can do two, three and four thread overlocking. You've got a built in needle threader. So even that one job is made easier. Five levels of presser foot pressure. Uh, an eight piece feed dog system for just beautiful feeding of your fabric. You've got a built in two thread converter. You've got a built in thread cutter and maximum sewing speeds that are adjustable up to 1300 stitches per minute. Uh, amazing professional results and and really although a lot of sewing machines now offer an over edge stitching um, stitch and foot which is you know neat and seams up um, there's nothing like an overlocker for creating a truly professional finish now next up there we go just to give you a bit of a an overall where where are the things on the machine you can see right at the top you've got a telescopic antenna system for your thread guide so you can raise or lower those depending on the size of the reels or spools or cones of thread that you're using um, in front of that you've got color-coded thread marking this is making the whole act of threading easier quicker simpler You've got integrated differential feed and stitch length dials for easy settings. So you can adjust the differential feed um, and the settings for different effects, different weights of fabric, uh, <clears throat> and to do things like a lettuce edge on fine fabrics. You've got the lower looper pretension setting slider. Um, you can have it on standard or tight. Um, you've got an upper and lower looper selection, one push looper threader lever. You've got your cutting width adjusting dial, so you can adjust the width of the cutting blade to cut more or less off the fabric. You've got a built-in thread, two thread converter uh, and a built-in needle threader. <clears throat> and again, that five level of pressure presser foot dial. 
and then let's have a look inside <laughs> so you've got your accessory box with screwdrivers tweezers needle set nets ball caps lint brushes a tube of oil a spare upper blade a double-ended wrench this is starting to sound like my toolbox a needle holder a looper threading wire a waste tray foot controller and dust cover now just to explain those four those um three different options four thread three thread and two thread so the two thread programs you'll use for a flat lock hem so things like t-shirts good for um, and also for rolled hems you've got your three thread programs overlocking regular and wide rolled hem narrow hem a pico hem a little shaped hem or a pin tuck and then your four thread programs you're going to use for your regular standard overlocking for stretch knit fabrics for decorative over edging and also for gathering so it really doesn't matter whether you're planning on making swimwear yoga pants uh, curtains blinds cushions thick winter coats you name it uh, you can do all of that now susan's messaged in and susan i'm i'm glad you've shared these feelings okay susan said afternoon everyone overlockers terrify me but at some point i'll have to invest in one to neaten off my seams Susan, I know, I know that overlockers can be really intimidating. Um, when I did the sewing bee, um, there was one point where, where they brought out overlockers and said, oh, there was no, no one had to use an overlocker on the first season. Since then, they've made it mandatory, but no one had to use an overlocker. And um, they said, oh, everyone can have one. And I said, oh, I've never used an overlocker before. And the sewing boss said, right, you're not having one, which kind of put me off because I thought, OK, that's something I'm not allowed to use. But I can understand why, you know, in the heat of the moment in competition, it's probably not the time to try anything new for the first time. Um, but about, I don't know, nine months after the sewing beat, I got an overlocker and I went on a day class, which really helped. And lots of sewing shops offer those or sewing tutors offer them as well. But, you know, a good machine, a good manual and just practice. Um, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it was an absolute voyage of ahas and discovery and pennies dropping. And, say, and at the end of it all, I just thought, how have I ever sewn without one? And oh my goodness, if I'd known how to use this going into the sewing bee, I would have missed and overcome so many of those little pitfalls because, um, you know, the very first thing I made, it was the only one, but it got turned inside out. Everyone else's, they just left. Mine got turned inside out. And it really was a raggy, horrible mess inside. And I'd used quite a loosely woven tweedy fabric and it just looked a mess. And with an overlocker, it would have taken a couple of minutes and it would have looked professional. So Susan, if I was to give you one bit of unsolicited advice, it would be get an overlocker home and spend a little bit of time, a few days, exploring it, reading the manual, either practicing threading up the 664 or going with the air threader and actually using it just on simple pieces of fabric, not constructing anything, just to, you know, cut your teeth. Uh, Nima's got in touch to say, hi Stuart, I bought the Elna 664 Pro a few months ago. I've never used an overlocker before, but I love it. Nima and Devon. So, Susan, we're talking to you. Oh, I love this. Seriously. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, nice. Um, the time is 20 past 12 and Hannah's just announced she wants to do another early bird. You don't really understand the concept, do you, of the early bird, Hannah? How long have you been here? Well, I suppose it's early if you've had a late night. <laughs> right, Janome red and blue tip needle bundle. 
So um, Janome needles, absolutely fine to use in an Elna machine. Janome make Elna machines. You get all of that technology, all of that know-how. Um, we've got a pack of red tip and a pack of blue tip. Um, now the red tipped, these are top stitch needles. So they have a larger eye and a deeper groove in them to accommodate things like metallic um, threads. So if you've ever had trouble with metallic or embroidery threads shredding and breaking, use a red tip. The larger eye and larger groove are perfect. These are also really good for thicker fabrics really good for thicker fabrics. You're also getting a pack of blue tipped. Now these are a piercing point and a long groove. So these would be brilliant for ripstop because they have that long piercing tip. Um, it also helps to avoid skipped stitches. Well, in particular where it's not piercing the fabric cleanly. So, so skipped stitches are often a sign of a blunt needle. Um, where you get like long stitches forming but it'll also happen if you're trying to sew through fabric or layers that are too thick and the needle can't pierce cleanly so a long slim piercing tip will do that and that's your blue tip should be 11 pound for the two packs not today not here not now eight pound that's four pounds a pack that is a bargain that is a bargain. Can be used in Janome machines, can be used in Elna machines. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick my neck out and say I can't understand why they can't be used in any machine, actually. Probably shouldn't say that, but there's nothing special about the, the, the space that the needle goes into. Quarter of the stock's already gone. Apparently, you all like a 25 past 12 early bird. So we might have to do these more often, Hannah. Well, it's rather nice, isn't it? It's a nice little refresh. I like that. And also really useful. So top stitching. You could also use the red tip for quilting. You could also use those for quilting. Perfect for metallic thread, perfect for embroidery threads. Those more delicate threads that tend to shred and break quite easily. And then you've got your blue tip. These ones have that long, slim piercing point. So they're gonna be great for things like denim. You could use them with faux leather, tapestry, um, or also just maybe things like bag making as well. Size-wise, these are 75, so perfect for the ripstop. Over half the stock's gone. You will need to be quick if you want to get your 20 past 12 early bird. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right, while we're over here, half the stock now gone. We're going to have a little look at the five series. Now, I promised we would look at the five series in the 12 o'clock show. 550, is that this one down this end? 5560, this is the five. 70, so the 550 is in the middle. That's not in order. There. Right. Okay, so first of all, you're getting, we're talking here about the 550, the Elna 550 sewing machine. Okay, you get your machine, you get an extended five year warranty that is only available up till the 7th of June. You also get a bundle of freebies. Now that includes a rotary cutter. Colours will vary. Uh, hmm? Oh right, this was the bundle that was behind the machine, sorry. Right, I'm get, let me take that out. Right, tell me what the bundle is first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's your bundle. Okay, thank you. Okay, right, so your bundle is worth £47. You get a pack of 100 magic pins. You get two metres, a one metre, two metres, two metres of the ivory fabric, and one metre of 80-20 wadding. So you get those three things as your additional bundle. You get your 550 sewing machine. Now, do we have specifications? So you get 50 stitches on this and they are here, okay? So you get 50 stitches, you get three buttonholes 
on your 550. So you can see there, you've got things like your lock stitch, you've got your um, speed controller, your start stop button, it's still needle up, needle down. So just like the higher end machines, you're getting all that functionality. You're getting an eyelet, you're getting zigzags, you're getting over edge stitching function. You're getting some decorative stitches there as well. So a good all round machine, three buttonholes as well. Now you also get an extension table as standard with this machine. And for a machine of this, at this price point, that is fab. Free arm for free arm stitching. Yes, you can drop your feed dogs. There's a little button here at the back. And if you want something like a darning foot so you can do free motion quilting, you can buy that. It's about £18, I think, £20 for a, um, a darning foot. And we'll have all of those feet coming in very soon. So this is the sort of machine that if budget is a little bit more limited, you're still getting loads of functionality and you can buy extra feet if you need them. Um, the extension tables are a dream actually, it's lovely. Here's your extension table. Normally you wouldn't get an extension table included, but um, these are included with standard with our owners here at Sewing Street. And um, I'm just gonna pop that on just to show you. So now you've got this lovely extended workspace which makes you know creating larger projects much much easier you've got a much more supportive space and you can adjust the legs um, to fit your table so that's a fab machine um, could work really well actually as your second machine for taking to workshops or if you're you know teaching someone to sew or you have a friend or um, perhaps grandchildren that come round um, that you want to sew alongside with. Um, lovely extra machine to have. Now then, we're going to do the 560 next. So 529 for the 550. Let's look at the 560 next. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the bundle. So your bundle includes a rotary cutter, colours may vary, your pins, your one metre of 80-20 wadding, your Gutman black and white threads, uh, I think there's six reels, you get um, seven reels, oh yeah, yeah, you get three black and four white, yeah, two metres of ivory solid. So that's your bundle for your 560. Now let's have a closer look at the machine. First of all, stitches. We'll have a look at the stitches. Let me show you, you've got two little pullouts here. So you're getting 100 stitches, seven buttonholes this time. So you get twice as many stitches, uh, more than double the number of buttonholes. You're getting utility stitches. You can sew your stretch fabrics on here, no problem at all. You get more decorative stitches as well. It's the next level up. It's the next level up. You're getting that extension table again. You get a case for it as well. Is it a hard case or a dust cover? A hard case, fantastic. That's amazing, that's an amazing deal. Um, Seven different feet with this. Oh, 550 you get a seven feet? Okay. So a standard foot, that's the one you're going to use for most utility stitching. You've got an over edge foot for neatening seams. A zipper foot. A satin stitch or open toed embroidery foot. A blind hemming foot. A quarter inch seam foot, super for quilters, and an automatic buttonhole foot. And these are automatic one step buttonholes. You get all of those feet with all of these three machines, whether you go 550, 560, or 570, you get those seven feet. 
So that's good to know. So at the moment, the difference really is about the number of stitches, the number of buttonholes. So 550 has 50, the 560 has 100 stitches. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you still get things like speed control, speed limiter. You can use it with or without the foot pedal, um, a start or stop button, reverse sewing, locking stitch, needle up, needle down. So still a lot of those higher end functions Fabulous. Five year warranty, remember, available up until the 7th of June. Um, do you notice as well on the front, you've also got the little pair of scissors. So on the 560, you've got thread cutting, automatic thread cutting, um, which if you've ever had it on a machine, you won't ever want a machine that doesn't have it. And as soon as you have got it on a machine, uh, it really is a quite a game changer keeps you neat and tidy. So that's the 560 and then we're going to go to the 570A. Now Alison Marion was using this earlier on, lovely machine, still all plugged in. Um, again with these you can use them with or without foot pedal so that's always good to know. Some people like sewing standing up using the start stop button. Some people can't or don't like using a foot pedal. You've got that choice. Now in your bundle, you're going to get that rotary cutter, the pins, a one meter of 80-20 wadding. You get your Gutterman seven reels of thread, three black and four whites. You get your two meters of ivory cotton fabric. You also get your Creative Grids six and a half win inch square. So you can just come back into stock and we're giving it away. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> Love that. It's one of my um, essentials. You're also getting the five year warranty. That's got to be worth about 60 pounds, I think. Okay, so th you can pay £60 to get a three-year extended warranty. So that's taking it from two years to three years. But you're getting a five-year extended warranty. I, feel that's got, oh, I don't know. I, I think that's got to be like 100 quid's worth. I don't know. But I know it was about £80 to extend the warranty on a Kindle. Um, I'm going to do a little price comparison on this one. Now, although I've made very large about the fact that from today we are the only UK retailer for Elna, but of course there are retailers, there are shops around the country that have still got stock of their Elnas, which when they have finished selling these, they won't have them anymore. Um, so this is a retailer who has the Elna 570 and it is £739. Can we just go to our price, please? 739, 649, that's 90 pound cheaper, over 85 pounds of freebies and an extended five year warranty. And it's 90 pounds cheaper by buying it from Sewing Street. And we will absolutely remain just as committed as we've ever been to being competitive because even though there won't be anybody else selling Elna sewing machines we know that you have a choice to shop with us or not we know that there are other uh, retailers of other sewing machines so we will always stay competitive we will always do the best deal and the best prices for you here at Sewing Street. Um, now same feet you get those seven same feet that I mentioned earlier on um, standard foot, over edge stitching, zipper, satin stitch or embroidery stitch, blind hem, quarter of an inch and your buttonhole foot. Now you can also buy as added extras things like a walking foot for the that fit the fire suit or a darning foot if you want to do that or an invisible zipper foot you know sometimes there are very specific feet that we want and need um, and you can add those in as you move along um, we've got some slides just to mention as well well we'll do it while we're doing the slides because 380 that's for not that's a big jump we've gone from 50 to 100 to 300 and 80 stitches so we must have alphabets in there 
Amazing. Right, let's have a little look at this slide. All right, so to start off with then, um, a sewing space of 170 millimeters. Uh, you can of course slide the extension, the, um, the little accessory box out um, and expose the free arm. Um, sewing space, by the way, is uh, just over about six, six and a bit inches. Um, you've got an LCD screen a uh, full rotary hook with transparent bobbing cover. It's a top loader. Built-in automatic needle threader. You've got a seven-piece retractable feed dog. Built-in LED light. <coughs> you can manually control the thread tension. Uh, easy to wind a bobbin, easy to thread your machine. You can adjust the presser foot adjustment. Uh, you've got an extra high presser foot. Uh, an accessory storage box, extension table, stitch reference chart, that's stored on the side of the machine, very clever um, method that, uh, spool pin, horizontal, a start stop button, reverse button, auto lock or knotting function, up down needle position, automatic thread cutter, and um, that automatic thread cutter, by the way, is available on the 570A and the 560. You don't get the automatic thread cutter on the 550. Um, direct stitch selection. So the four most commonly used stitches have buttons directly on the front of them. It's like a speed dial on your phone. Um, a thread cutter memory, again on the 560 and 570. And you've also got a memory key on the 570A. And of course, the reason why you've got that memory key is because you can program in full names, words, messages, because you've got those alphabets, so that you can um, write quote labels or name labels or, you know, all sorts of things like that. Now, Lynn's asking a question. Hi, Stuart, I'm looking for a second machine. I've got the 680 plus. Does the 570A have a drop in bobbin? Absolutely. Let me just tilt this machine forward a little bit and I'll show you. So just as you've got on your 680 plus and a vast majority of machines these days, actually, you've got that top loading bobbin. So you've got the little spring door that bobbin case comes out and there's your there's your bobbin in there i um, sorry about the lighting it's a bit difficult to tilt it and show you but yeah top loader so you get bobbins as well of course always use Genome or Elna bobbins in your machine this is something I mean I know I said about needles but with bobbins you do want to make sure you get the machine specific bobbins and again we'll have all of those things as well um, in stock so the machine we've got right here is the 570A, a lot of machine. Um, the, the price difference, certainly buying it from us today, the price difference between the 550 and the 570, uh, can we just work out the difference in price? So if the 550 is 529 and this is 649, so 120 pound difference. 120 pound difference and the difference is 50 stitches or 370 stitches uh, automatic thread cutting you still get an extension table it's kind of next level and you've also got that um, you know the the alphabet and the numbers function which I think for a lot of people is something you really want you can't add it to a machine it is very useful to have um, here is it, here it is rather, with the extension table, love that. So also as well, I've mentioned it's a £120 difference between the 550 and the 570. Let's not forget the bundle of goodies. So that you bundle with this, the 570 is £85. Five year warranty, at least £60. That's £145 thrown in. That's just going to be until the 7th or until, you know, this stock sells out. Although we'll have good stocks of machines moving forward. Of course, we, you know, I suppose there might be times when we run out of machines. Hi, Stuart, says Susan. Could you tell me what the difference is between a lock stitch and a back stitch function from Sue and not? Oh, yeah, that's a really good question, Sue. 
Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so the knotting function, and usually on a machine, I don't know if you can see that, it's shown with a little circle with a sort of dot in the center. And that's your knotting function. I'll just show you, it's this one right here. Oh, I'm gonna pick a different nail because that one's awful. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, will somebody get that man uh, a, ped a, man in a pedicure? A point, a point with my foot. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. My little hobbit feet. <laughs> right, so the no Susan, getting back to your question, the knotting function, what that does is it stitches on the spot, okay, which creates a little knot of thread on the back. Now, on something like something that's then going to be lined, I would use the knotting function, not an issue. Okay, um, if I because I don't mind that little knot of thread on the back, it's going to be hidden in my seams. If I was working with something very sheer, I might not use that. If I was working on quilting and it was the start or the end of a line of quilting, I wouldn't use that knotting function. I'd do the forward and back. That's the back stitch button. So that one is um, this one here. Okay, here at the front. This is your reverse. So you hold this in and the button will sew backwards while you're holding the button down okay um, and that you you kind of reinforcing the stitching and for me that's a preferred option because you don't get a knot of thread on the back you're just sewing forwards and back up you do just need to make sure you hold your fabric really carefully so it stays lined up forward and back um, but that's my preferred so that's the difference between the two the other option, of course, is not to use either of those, to drop needle down and up, pull your bobbin thread to the top, hold on to both threads, do your line of stitching, and then what you can do is pull both threads through to the back with a needle and then knot them off and then bury it with a needle and thread. But that's obviously a little bit more work. Okay, that's your 570. A message, you are so good at presenting, Stuart. Thank you, Lisa, thank you. Um, I want that on a t-shirt. Pleased when, I'm pleased when you're on as it helps me understand the products well. I appreciate you saying that, thank you. Um, I know sometimes if, you know, if it's not what you're looking for, this is all detail you, you don't wanna know maybe. But I think when you do want to know, I want to be your eyes and your ears and and the per your advocate really here so i will always be honest with you about which is or maybe not the right machine for you so as well i'll, I'll be objective hi Stuart. i just bought the 570 well done collector in lancashire congratulations fabulous machine over 350 stitches it's a brilliant machine and, and for uh, just a £120 more than the 550, you're getting a huge amount more function. Um, lovely. Well done. Well done. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Walk this way. <laughs> Stop it. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Walk this way. Walk this way. Do you know, it's yet. I used to love doing karaoke. I went to university in 1990, and I realised before anyone says that, that's before any of the crew were born. Okay, I get it. Um, <laughs> right. Anyway, karaoke was very new and we used to have, it was a Japanese couple, they were married, husband and wife couple, who brought karaoke to Birmingham University. And I went to the very first ever karaoke at Birmingham University and I was the very first person to sing. I was, I was. And I went on and I did, um, I Wanna Dance With Somebody by Whitney Houston and I, murdered it <laughs> Hannah's just said she was in a soundproof booth doing Marilyn Manson and it was such a horrible screeching that the owners actually came to check and see she was all right 
<laughs> yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, very good. What's your karaoke number? I need to know now. My favourite one to do is um, I Will Survive. Um, I love doing I Will Survive. And that became my, my song for karaoke whilst at university. Um, people used to get up and dance. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Right. Elna 680 Plus. This is the machine that John Scott has got. It's his machine of choice. I have got the Elna 680, no plus. Um, that is the machine I've used at home for the last eight years. Love it, wrote my last two books on it. You know, bags for life completely sewn on the Elna 680. So if you're wondering, does the Elna 680 plus cope with lots of thick layers, in our form, loads of fabric, boxing corners? Absolutely, yes, it does. And it does it beautifully. Um, I've got another price comparison because even though we are now the only UK retailer moving forward of Elna sewing machines, there are still a few available elsewhere. Sewing Studios got one, there it is, the Elna 680 Plus, £1,399. Is that £150 dearer? Yes, it is. Um, two years warranty on that machine buying it from us you're going to pay a hundred and fifty pounds is that right 150 pounds cheaper five years extended warranty you're also going to get dedicated in-house customer service by two elna experts okay when you ring in you're also going to have access, of course, to the Elna customer service general number as well. You're also getting a bundle of goodies with this machine, which I'm going to show you now. So with your Elna 680 Plus, you're going to get a metre of cotton wadding, cork batting. You're going to get two metres of seeded natural cotton. You're going to get the Stripology Squared Mini Ruler. You're also going to get a pack of magic pins. And Hannah, am I right in saying with your 680 plus, do we get thread? We get the threads from Living in Loveliness, the 10 different greens, lovely threads. I think that value on the threads alone is 14.99. Loads of extra value included with your machine. But the real star, of course, is that Elna 680 plus with extended five year warranty. Now, let me just break down the value is incredible with this machine absolutely incredible because you don't need to buy an extension table you get one you don't need to buy a knee lifter you get that included walking foot darning foot convertible darning foot all included 170 program stitches three alphabets you get a extra wide uh, monogramming function as well for your capital letters and numbers. Uh, loads of different utility and heirloom stitches as well included. Now the throat space on your 680 plus so that's the from the needle center needle position to the edge is just a fraction under nine inches. Okay so it's just a fraction under nine inches throat space. So really, really good space in there for quilting. You get your straight stitch needle plate included as well, which if you are doing loads of piecing or loads of straight line or free motion quilting, um, absolutely put the straight stitch needle plate on. You will get a better quality stitch and less of that um, you know, gobbling up of, of fine points of fabric with a straight stitch needle plate. It's a superb machine. It's, um, it's one that I use in my studio and at home all the time. Um, I do take it along to workshops. It's hefty, I won't lie to you. It is hefty and it is a heavier uh, weight machine, but it is still reasonably portable. I wouldn't say to you, gosh, this one really does have to live at home. Whereas the 720, all metal construction, I think unless you're, you know, pretty hench, um, and you know what I'm saying, uh, I, would, I would leave that in your sewing room. I mean, obviously I could lift it and carry it around. I could, I could probably bench it. I, I'd, I'd bench that with my eyes shut. 
All right, yeah, I'm just gonna squat. Uh, ooh, ow. Oh, I think I've pulled something. Okay, but that's your 680 plus. Uh, 1,249 pounds. And just to give you an idea of, of how prices really have maintained, um, I bought mine eight years ago, it was 1,100 pounds. Two year warranty, no freebies. In eight years, we've only gone up about 1,200, uh, 200 pound, 100 pound, 150 pounds, something like that. That's all, in, in all that time. Um, I wish that fuel and all the other things I'd only gone up that little amount. <laughs> but that's just me. No, but it's real, isn't it? You know, I mean, we know everything's gone up in price, but relatively speaking, if anything, realistically, these have come down in price. Yeah, walk with me, come on. <laughs> this is the 720. Oh, Rosina's got in touch. I just need to say, Rosina's got in touch to say, I've got the 570A from Elna. It's an amazing machine. I am so, so happy with mine. That is brilliant, Rosina. Thanks for getting in touch. Um, I think the best people to recommend sewing machines are the people who've got them. Now, talking of the people who've got them, both Bex Reed and Delphine Brooks have the 720. This is their machine, the 720 Pro. Now this is that all metal construction. So all of this, all of this, it's all metal construction. So it is a heavyweight machine. This is probably something that you'll want to keep in your dedicated sewing space. Um, the quality, the stability, the speed that that enables your machine to do is absolutely worth it. Um, this doesn't have a free arm on it. So when you sew something like a bag or hemming trousers, something like that, rather than having it round the machine here, you would have your circle here and pass it around to sew around your hem or your bag. Okay, uh, excuse me. It's, it really is sort of modeled after an industrial machine. Industrial machines are a flat bed as this is rather than a free arm machine. Um, now you'll notice a few differences with the machine apart from the fact that it's all metal. You'll see you've got this telescopic um, uh, thread guide up here so you can use larger spools of thread here quite easily um, and they will thread easily. Um, do we have a slide for functions on the 720 plus pro? We do, thank you. Let me show you this. Now the throat space on this is something else. This is 11 inches of throat space. Um, aluminium frame, uh, your sewing space, a width of 255 mil, a height of 120 mil, flat bread, a flat bread. It's lunchtime, isn't it? I want, I want chicken skewer, lovely salads, chili sauce, and a flat bread. Thank. Are you all eating in there? I can hear scrunching, yes you are. Um, everyone's eating around me, no wonder I just said flat bread. Uh, it's a flat bed, horizontal full rotary hook with transparent bobbing cover. Again, it's a top loader, so you can see what you're doing. Um, Built-in superior needle threader, seven piece retractable feed dog. Um, you've got built-in bright LED lamps in three different locations. Amazing machine. We do also need just to talk about the feet that come with that. Um, Christine's message, I've got the 720 Pro and the Air Overlocker. They're brilliant. I've even built a dedicated sewing station for them. Christine, you do right. It, our craft, our hobby, what we love doing is worth it. Leslie and Charles in Tiny Weir say, I've got the 720, I love it. I'm now thinking of buying the air threader. Leslie and Charles, today is the day. Five year extended warranty, we've crashed the price. Today's the day, today's the day. Okay, quick slide we want to share. Oh, okay. This is an email that we received earlier on. I was looking for information. I found this. Your price is not as competitive. You're usually the best price anywhere. So that's because the price is £529. No, 
That's elsewhere, £529. So we crashed our price. And then the same person got in touch. Can we just put that up on the side so I can read it? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I can't read that. Uh, who has emailed us to say to studio, I'm in awe at the price. Fantastic job, Sewing Street. We really appreciate that. Thank you. That's lovely. Yeah, that's our 664 Pro. Yeah, we will always do that for you if we possibly can. Best price available. Gorgeous, right? We need to do the menu. We have had such a busy morning. Thanks for staying with us. All right, so tomorrow it's me. Um, last day before I go home, 8 a.m. We've got new Hoffman Batik fabrics. I'm excited. At nine o'clock, we've got Lucy Pixley here. Uh, with the Skirlington collection. Looking forward to that. At 10 o'clock, sewing room tools. I'll get as many demos in as I can. At 11 o'clock, we've got Lester Lane and Stratford bags with Lucy Pixley. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got sewing machines and accessories. Uh, a jam-packed morning tomorrow. You won't want to be anywhere else. Make sure you meet me out on the street, you know, sewing street. I will see you then. <laughs>